<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 146, man. This is a uh, goddamn end of the year, beginning of the year shit, because right now it's, what, December 30th, but it's going to be aired on the motherfucking January right. 1st and shit, dog. That's what's up. Yeah. Start the new year off right, Hell you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, so we dog. got, uh, man, this dude wear a lot of hats, man. Motherfucker, we can start, uh, shit, we're going to start with the most important hat, dog. He a father. Yeah. Motherfucker, yeah, that's the, important, the most important role, dog. Dad. Yeah. Motherfucker, uh, podcast host, uh, No Blood, No File. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. Rapper, motherfucker, uh, comedian, yeah. actor, shit, man, he hey, off, off, off the motherfucker uh, camera, shit, motherfucker writer, dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to turn it up, bro. Yeah, yeah. smooth talking, dog. Yeah, Nigga, man. Nigga, Uncle Smooth, man, what's man, good with you, bro? what's up, bro? Thanks for having man. me, dog. I appreciate this no, shit, I appreciate man. you coming, man. I've been, Hell um, yeah. I've been following you, dog, and they didn't even know it, man. I didn't even know that you, um... You the one who run the um damn what's that shit called at at the after zone yeah at the zone no no I oh, can't take credit I okay. don't run all that shit that's okay. you know what I'm saying that's my dog Vince mm -hmm. but that's my dog from way back man and uh he uh was at all the games with the camera yeah and that's kind of how I started he had this, this vision bro and I was just rocking with him yeah and then um I was doing my comedy shit he oh. like bro you gotta do something I know you love the game I'm at all the games for sure for sure you know what I'm saying so we linked it up got our podcast going and yeah. doing a little footage and content and all that so, so yeah bro they only two and they call oh yeah. I forgot they called him the uh, Fast Steph Curry, though. Oh, yeah, Fast Steph, dog. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm dead nice. Like, hey, I don't know where the can't. I'm nice, bro. Like, Fast Steph, Chubby Loca, you feel me? I lock up Fat Bev, you feel me? <laughs> nigga, I got, nigga, I'm I'm him. Hey, I'm I, saw, I saw I saw, saw some footage. He had a nice little step back there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he man. Got, hey. All right, dog. So I had, um, I had another comedian on the show, man. Comedian Mike Larry. Oh, that's my, that's my guy. Yeah, that's my dog. Who okay. winning? Who winning the ones, dog? Come one on, man. One. You know I'm winning the ones, dog. <laughs> That's my big bro, man. I'm, that's what's up. You shot my dog out, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm for sure winning them ones. Nigga. Yeah, for sure. Ain't no big nigga fuck with me, big nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we stick together, but I'm him of the big niggas, man. Any, any, any nigga nicer than me, nigga, that nigga in the league. And they play somewhere. You know what I'm saying? For that's sure. how I be feeling. But yeah, for sure, uh, man. For sure. Before we get to everything, bro, yeah. we start everything with Salute Me While I'm Here, man. A lot of times you wait for people to pass yeah. away, you write that long ass Facebook status, right. long ass Instagram post instead of giving them flowers while they can still smell them. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be if you got a lady, kids, mom, right. or pops. It got to be somebody outside of that uh, that circle. So you got anybody you want to get yeah, some flowers Yeah, dog. For? It's easy, bro. My dog, Mike Larry, man. Mm -hmm. That's like that's my brother, man. Like uh, I met Mike on some random shit at like LA Fitness. Big mm -hmm. niggas trying to get right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Little, little cardio. <laughs> You little Cardi, yeah, I was on the motherfucking elliptical and shit. You know, that nigga walked by and like I had been wanting to get in the comedy game, right? Mm -hmm. I've been going to punchline down there every weekend. Mm -hmm. Was too pussy to get up. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Was just scared, bro. And um, I seen him and I just quit my job, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way man. too early to do comedy. I ain't yeah. even stepped on stage yet. Yeah, because so, you quit that shit with August thirty first or something. Man, August... I done quit my job like two, three times. Oh nigga. shit, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what it was? After Kobe died, mm -hmm. Kobe died what on a Sunday, right? Yeah, but I was right here. It was Sunday. Exactly. Sunday. It's a Sunday. So Monday morning, mm -hmm. I'm getting ready for work on Instagram. I ain't tell you what I'm doing, but you know what you do before you go to work. You know what I'm saying? You're in the bathroom scrolling. Yeah, 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 you feel me? For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so <laughs> it was Kobe like, man, he was like, if you got a job, bro, and you know what I'm saying, and you and you waiting for your opportunity, what you waiting on? You get one life. Mm -hmm. So nigga like tearing up on the toilet, like, man, yeah, fuck this job, sure, man. I'm about sure. to go for my dreams. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how I quit the first time. Yeah. But yeah, this nigga said August 31st. You knew about the second time. This nigga, hold it, boy. <laughs> Think of the fans. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing Mike Larry said, though. Federal Raleigh's. I didn't even know he was on the show. But yeah, yeah. so I met Mike at LA Fitness. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm a new comic. I ain't stepped on stage yet. He's like, so what you waiting on? Yeah, yeah. He's like, we're going tonight. So yeah. I yeah. went that night. Mm -hmm. Killed that bitch. Man, it was that bitch. Been locked in with dog ever since. Ever since. Yeah. Man, shout out to Mike Larry, man. He came with this bitch, yeah. man. Funny as hell. Larry's I, I wanted to meet him like two days before he even came on the show because, uh, I don't know if he had a kid that go to the same school my son went to and shit. Like, mm. hey, nigga, you gonna be on my show, nigga, two days, nigga. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was cool yeah. as hell. I reached out to him. He had, you know what I'm saying, came back, had a funny ass episode. That nigga yeah. got a funny ass story, too, though. Yeah, nah, he cool, man. Then he started like a little comedy class, and mm -hmm. I just got down with them. Like, the class was already going on, but I was cool with him already. He was so, like, yeah. man, just, just come into class and um, 
try to learn some shit. This was during the pandemic. Yeah. And I had like some like little online shows and I didn't know how to do the online comedy and shit. Mm-hmm. So he was kind of just showing me how to do that shit. And yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure. Locked for in with sure. dog ever since. Talking about every day. Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna salute, man. I'm just gonna salute all my guests that that came on this year, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple names there. I was surprised I got on, man. Shout out to Coco. Shout out to uh, Bucky yeah. Naked, man. Shout oh, out to my fuck uh, G Mac Cash. Uh, shout out to uh, Thomas Harris with uh, McGraw Ave and shit, man. Yeah. And shout out to the motherfuckers that's coming up too, man. Cause shit. I seen Oba on here too. Yeah, Oba, Oba rolling, yeah, man. Yeah, that's Funny a, as that's hell, a big dog. Look. Yeah, he cool as fuck. Nigga said that his, he found out his, his real dad was a wrestler and shit. <laughs> to my, I, I watched that bitch. You know what I'm saying? His mama was a hooper and shit. Like, what the fuck <laughs> going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so shout out to Over Man, shout out to everybody on the come up, cause shit. Hopefully one day niggas can look back like, shit. Damn, his first episode, his first podcast interview was on my shit. Yeah, so that'd be hard. dope, man. And uh, shit, shout out to this nigga, man, cause I tried him out before, but I know everybody else he charged and shit, man. But you know, nephew get love and shit, man. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so man, he be you know, what I'm saying we both we don't live here, we both drive here, so man, salute to him too. Hey, that's what's up, man. And hey, man, and. My last salute, man. If, if this year was hard for you, man, money wise, or just shit wasn't popping off, man. Hey, nigga, you made it to a new year to change that Try, shit around. Turn that shit up, man. Yeah, yeah, ain't man. Ain't no, ain't no opportunity like right now, bro. For like, sure, for do sure. That shit. Now speaking of, uh, you know, what I'm saying 2022, man. Niggas watching this is 2023. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. But uh, yeah. So how besides you know quitting your job and starting comedy, man? How how your year been, man? Like some ups, some downs, all that shit, man. man my shit been fucking great, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like. <laughs> <clears throat> Last, like I started November of 20, 2021. Okay. You feel me? So I had my whole year in comedy this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, was, I just was like, I'm taking this shit serious. For sure, you know for what I'm sure, saying? Because I was sure. rapping, but niggas be slacking with the rap sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and don't sure, be yeah. on it, on it. But I'm like, comedy different because every night you can go, you know what I'm saying, get it in. Mm-hmm. It ain't like that with the rap. It ain't like it's an open mic area where, yeah, yeah, you know you what I'm saying? You get in when you can. Yeah, and yeah. you got to pay for shows. Yeah, and it's pay, like, you got to yeah. have paid, man. So yeah, for sure, for sure. With comedy, I was like, nigga, I can get out here, get my face card out here and just... Mm-hmm. I got a passion for the comedy. I love that shit, bro. Since sure. I was a kid, so yeah. I was on every fucking night, bro. I'm yeah. in the open mic, and I started getting booked. Mm-hmm. And shit was up. Yeah, and shit like, popping um, off. Yeah, so like my pops had passed like December fourth for like you know a, oh, yeah. of a twenty one, yeah, like, right when pace. I started yeah. and shit. Yeah. Thanks, bro. So I was just like, I'm gonna make that nigga proud. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. And Hell just yeah. turn up. And, Hell uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm rookie of the year for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Killing yeah, shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't sure. be. I, I be super humble, but like, you gotta talk shit though. You gotta. Yeah, every once in a while, it's like, right, nigga, like, nah, like, nah, I can't though. You can yeah. look at the scoreboard. Like, okay, this nigga doing shows. This nigga yeah, book. Yeah, I'm with the, yeah. all the top. You just comedians. did one last night. Yeah, last night. Got yeah. one tomorrow, nigga. This shit don't stop. So it's like, man, this shit a blessing, and I love it. And it's like, man, I'm just happy to be here. And, yeah. You know, getting 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 a little credit for what for I'm sure, doing, but I'm just getting started. What about some shit outside, like? Your passion. What about some personal shit, dog? You feel like you, you? Man, I got personal shit. I'm about to drop a bomb on y'all. Niggas, oh man. shit, damn! I got three kids already, right? All you right, know what I'm saying? Right, I got right. 17, 12, and a five. Okay, okay. So my girl took out the birth control. I ain't telling nigga, man. She trapped the nigga, bro. I mean, my wife, nigga. I'm saying my girl, my wife. <laughs> nigga. Been with her like 20 years, bro. Yeah. She took out the birth control, nigga, and she pop up pregnant, right? Yeah. So she pregnant and shit, but uh, so we got a little ultrasound shit. Mm. Ultrasound, bitch. Twins, Dog. nigga. Oh my god, <laughs> I got a senior. She about to go to college, bro. Dog, you got to start all over, all over times two. Dog, exactly times two, dog. Damn. So I've been really depressed. You know, <laughs> <man. It's, laughs> nigga, last right? couple months, nigga, like man, this is bullshit. Fuck, man, come on. But you know, Dog. it's all good. So it's you like, really got to get this shit popping for real. For hey, real. I ain't got. I got seven more months, nigga. Man. To get my shit together, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For but, sure. God damn. Yeah, man. Also, so hey, but, more see, life. They, uh, they they doing June then, huh? June, yeah. Yeah, June, yeah. bro. Oh, shit, man. Might follow me. My wife, me, my, oh, shit, June 21st. Hers is the 24th. Real. My yeah. wife, the, uh, June June 19th. Yeah, the yeah. The due date, June 18th, but okay. they're going to snatch them early because they're twins. Okay, okay, so okay. It's going to be sometime like Damn, so you, not only do you find out that wife is off the birth control, mm. not only do you find out that she pregnant. You pulled the goalie on me, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no bouncers in the club, nigga. Don't shoot the club, but ain't no bouncers in there. Yo, nigga. for sure. Now you got twins in this month, dog. Three to five, my nigga, real quick. Dang, so you got what? Two boys and a girl? Two boys and a girl. And then I found out it's a boy and a girl with the twins. Okay, okay, okay. I dang. ain't get hit the two girls. I oughldn't, nigga. I don't know. You would have been hurt. I would have dumped, dumped my bitch. Like, man, that's a boy <laughs> shit. I got a boy, though. I got a son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because no, no, yeah, cool, I got my, my shit. My son's 16. My other right. son is six and my daughter two. Mm. So I know about that kind of like starting over a little bit. Yeah, so my daughter is the oldest, you mm-hmm. feel me? So mm-hmm. so my shit backwards than yours, but Damn, so yeah, your life, yeah, your life did make
Ain't no paper in this comedy shit like yeah. that, bro. Mm -hmm. I thought it was. That's why I quit my job. Yeah. For I sure. was turned it up. Yeah, like, I'm about to get rich. I'm yeah. turned up. I thought, I thought comedians got money like rappers. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm turned up. I'm about to quit, man. I got to focus. Nigga, hell no. <laughs> I'm on ND right now, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm, yeah, all I'm like, yeah, man. Hey. I'm like, man, I'm about to go to this interview. She like, she's like, we have a job. I'm like, well, well no. It's, it's a little podcast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My dog podcast. It's a big podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm sure, saying? So, sure. so, okay. Ain't not like going on ND and then a bullshit job hit you back. Nigga. Mm. Cause I always got hit back from temp services. Like, man, damn. This ain't all, no real. I start fucking with them temp services, dude. Yeah. You can negotiate with them motherfuckers, bro. Man. And I don't finesse my little resume, nigga. I'm a whole accountant. Yeah. I ain't up in the college, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, dog, hey, you, you, know, hey, you don't for watch sure. This shit, you yeah. for sure finesse that shit, dog. Nigga, you became yes. a you a motherfucker. Uh you was a manager and shit, nigga. All that, nigga. Trainer, nigga. OCC turning to Oakland University real quick. For sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I, I ain't that bitch got my cone on my shit, nigga. I went that bitch for a month. Nigga. nigga, I was always see half a semester, nigga. I just say Oakland. I just leave it alone, <laughs> bitch. Y'all, hey. Y'all yeah, figure this out. All right. Do y'all research, nigga. <laughs> but I ain't gonna tell you what the Bro, fuck I'm on. Ain't nothing like trying to find a job when you really need that bitch. Yeah. I mean, you know. Niggas, you know how Detroit niggas is. We revert back to what sure, we know. Sure, but it's like, sure. this shit ain't it. Like, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I could do all this shit. Man. I can work. I can do comedy every night. Like, half nah, the bro. year, nigga, I was working 12 hours a day. Yeah. Doing comedy every night. Man. So, man. Yeah, but that's when you got that passion for it, dog. You like, fuck it, nigga. Even when you tired, nigga, that's something yeah. that you love to do. You gonna do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? November to August, nigga. 12-hour shifts, nigga. Five, six days a week, nigga. Doing man. comedy every day. So Damn, it's like, man, nigga, man, man, that shit to hustle. He dropped the bum on us for real, for real. Mm. Boo, nigga. <laughs> She told me I had twins on the way, nigga. Back to work. Man, Fuck man. Fuck this shit, nigga. Back to work. Dog, what's, with all the shit that you do, dog, what's some shit that you feel like you still need to work on, dog, that's, that's holding you back, man, from really getting up there? You're like, damn, I'm slacking on this, or I'm slacking on that. You know what it was? Like, it's really time to get to the music, because, mm -hmm. like, I rapped for, like, for years, you feel no, me? No, I, I pee, I pee. And I, and I should have, I feel like I should have came and did comedy right out of high school. Like, yeah. Fresh out, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I was... I had kids, I had all yeah. the kids and shit was working. Mm -hmm. So like it's really time to like do both. But I purposely mm -hmm. focused only on comedy all year. Like I like I got a studio in the crib. I ain't record shit. I was mm -hmm. I was writing songs. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, you I'm, I'm yeah. focusing on comedy. So mm -hmm. so now it's time to just put all this shit together. For sure. No, copy that you yeah. uh, the last project you dropped was twenty twenty one. You dropped the two uh, projects, consistency is key. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga. Was first and second quarter. And I was gonna drop four. Yeah. But I started doing comedy in November. I was gonna ask about that too. I fell yeah. in love with that yeah. shit though. It was just different, nigga. So let me ask you, the comedy dogs, that shit, I compare comedy, being up there on comedy is like boxing one round of boxing, dog. That shit hard. If you losing, that shit hard. Both of them. If you nigga. box, nigga, you know that shit like full court basketball, for nigga. Sure, for Three sure. minutes, you dead. So yeah. like, like, how was that, dog, like getting to on the stage? Like, you love it, but like, was it those those points that you was like, damn, like this, this going to be a tough show? Like, Yeah, bro. Like, well, I take it really serious, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And as a, you know, writer, you know, I rap, so mm -hmm. it's like I'm writing out my whole set. For sure, everything I'm critiquing you do. my shit. I'm on some Kobe basketball. For so sure, I'm you supplying got to. everything about basketball to comedy, like watching film. It's like I record every show. Mm -hmm. I did like over 250 shows. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't got no space, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing. So it's like, bro, like just taking it serious. So like, yeah, that shit difficult. But if you prepare, yeah, you good. Proper preparation prevents oh, yeah. poor performance. For you sure, know what I'm saying? Sure, so it's sure. like. I'm on that type shit, so yeah. And I noticed this hard, and I'm just looking around me, seeing mm. my competition and like other niggas I'm starting with, and I'm yeah. like kind of, and I'm like, oh, okay. Be honest, dog. I work harder. You you say you rookie of the year, dog. I, oh, I oh hands my, down. I mean, first it's like you call yourself the MVP. Of the yeah, podcast. yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I do my research. Yeah, you know what yeah, 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 as a for podcaster, for sure, you know what I'm saying? For sure, because sure. I call myself the rookie of the year first year. Yeah, podcast rookie of the year. That's how I feel with my, myself. You so feel now me? I'm the MVP. So now I'm thinking about next year. I think I'm gonna be a podcast hero. Avenger, nigga, like you, nigga, Tony Stark, nigga, that's who you are, <laughs> aka Larry June. Yeah, but numbers, no, hey, numbers, for sure. Hey, but you know, no, he said the Larry June shit. Shout out to my nigga, um, now infamous. He said the shit. No, yeah. you know I was I was kind of hating on I was hating on dog man. Who Joe? No you. Oh wow, what's up? I'm like this nigga good hair. And shit. Oh like, dog, shit. my shit gone, nigga. Like oh man, this little Steve Harvey hair piece. This shit come off at the end of the night, nigga. I put that bitch right next to my bitch lace front, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> Nah, hey. man, it's all good, but niggas gotta have some, you know dog, what I'm saying? For sure, dog. Damn. That shit, you be that bitch looking at old pictures like, damn. Damn, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, Ways looking good, nigga. Now you need this bitch look like George some days because you don't fight cutting your hair, you nigga. Me? Like, man, I don't even fight cutting this bitch today, nigga. I'm I was, George. man, I was the wave king forever, but like, this oh. shit right here. Well, it, all right, give me, give me, what was your, <coughs> what was your secret to getting the waves quicker? 
See, like, <laughs> niggas not got the YouTube and shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a young OG, so I come up back before all that shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, I let my shit get, like, I wasn't getting haircuts like that. For sure, for sure. So my haircut be like once a month. Yeah. But until then, I'm just you brushing. brushing. Yeah. Little water, little brush, little grease, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Murray's, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Wade yeah. cap. You know the game. No, see, I used to, cause my shit, my hair, for some reason, I couldn't put, like, that, that thick ass crazy grease, so I had to get Me the neither. cream. Yeah. So that should be fuck my hair. So what I do is, dog, I found the secret of putting the cream in your shit, the little a wave cream, but you brush in the shower as the water hitting. Okay. So I'm hitting a bitch. Ha, 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 ha. Soon as you do, why your shit still wet, nigga? You heard me throw, throw a do rag on. You got, you got tight. 10 minutes. Tight, dog. You got 10 minutes. <laughs> tight, dog. I ain't, man. I ain't do the cream, nigga. I did the light pom pomade. You <laughs> feel me? The light. I said, you know what I'm saying? I went to the black beauty spot store. I was talking to them, like, man, come on. She was like, what you need, baby? It's that light pomade. Yeah. And, you know, she put me on game. But, dog, yeah. Like, niggas had, all, remember, I remember niggas had cone waves, dog. You cone them bitches in. See, I, see, I ain't do that. See, so so right now your shit you ain't you ain't got your hair no more. No. Nah, okay, I feel you, man. Hey man, R.I.P. Rest in peace, dog. Yeah. R.I.P. to the father. Rest in peace to my hair, dog. Yeah, man. Fuck One me, day, man. nigga, I was right here on his show, and them lights came on, and I saw a screen. I'm like, dog, my shit string is here. <laughs> like I saw, I saw all my scalp, dog. And you know how like when you leave the barbershop, you feel good about yourself. It's Friday, yeah. you feel like you can get every chick. I wasn't feeling like that, dog. Yeah. My shit, I was looking at my shit with disgust. I put my head right back on. Like, <laughs> hat gang crazy, man, though. <laughs> hat gang crazy. I already know. They got 80 million hats and shit. You got to collect them bitches, dog. Hey, man, what you... Hey, this is my question, though, what nigga. Up? Hey, if, if you ever moved out of state, would you do the little dreadlocks? Oh, hell shit. <laughs> you see them niggas with the dreadlocks? <laughs> they got the, hey, man, I, I, I'm, I'm a barber, so, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I can hook it up if you need me. No, too. I'm good, dog. I'm good, yeah. dog. I'll pass on that, man. I just live off my uh, off my kids' hair and shit, dog. I, hey, that's what you, hey, you got to know. My son man. got dreads. My other son, he be switching <laughs> afro and ways. I be in the barbershop looking like. You just feel good. Like, <laughs> no, I be bad, dog. I be hurt, dog. Like, <laughs> these, niggas. like these little motherfuckers, dog. <laughs> so, face rate coming in off the beard. Niggas calling them future. I'm like, this nigga, dog. Got Oh, it's here. I mean, keep the bit, keep that shit, cuz. Right. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. Now, um. <laughs> That's funny. Hell yeah, dog. Cause niggas had all the secrets to get waves, bro. That might be that might be your downfall. You was putting too many posters together, Probably man. Was. You was like, you was putting all that Burning shit in my that shit. shit was bubbling. Fizzing <laughs> <laughs> up, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Put a permanent shit low key, dog. Hey, man. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, dog, with life, dog, it could be with life, your passion, dog. I wanna know what's the worst advice or, and the best advice you got with this shit, dog. Damn in life. It could dude. be being a father, it could be being a comedian, rapper. Like, Man. what's some good advice and bad advice you received, bro? I had a cold ass pops, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was one of them like light skin, silk shirt, yeah. chest Smooth hairs nigga. out. Yeah. 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 I seen the DTS out bad. That monk nigga, he had one of them. For you know sure, what I'm for sure. That's great downstairs, dog. You feel me? Yeah, it's great You know what I'm saying? You already know. You so already it's know. like, he's an old school player, man. So he, he used to say some just fly shit all mm. the time. But one thing he always said, nigga, would be like, I always remember. Anything free costs too much. For sure. You already know. So I'm like, that's some real shit. But he would say it, and I'll be like, what you mean? He'll like, you'll see. Yeah. He would never explain the shit. Yep. But now as you get older, you kind of like, damn, man. Yeah. That shit real. So basically, you know, when I got older, I'm like, yo, what's like, 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 what's your full explanation? And nigga, like, man, <clears throat> work for yours. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Can't nobody take shit from you if it's yours. Yeah, because niggas give you and shit, they expect something back. Exactly. Ain't shit you know free. what I'm saying? Ain't shit free, bro. Mm -hmm. Everything come with a cost. You feel me? So I just understand that and and use your relationships wisely. And like, if you genuine, you gonna recognize genuine. For sure. You know what I'm saying? No, so. fast, fast. Now, what's some what's some bullshit advice you got? Cause that was some good advice for sure, for sure. Bullshit advice, probably from the same nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he was a bullshit now, light skinned nigga, man. You Duh. know, five kids, four baby mama type nigga. Yeah. This nigga told me, <laughs> this is his whole birds and the bees advice, nigga. Yeah. Farting is close to shitting. Yeah. As kissing is to fucking. <laughs> Nigga, I got five kids, nigga. I think I, nigga, I got my girl pregnant. I'm a teenager. I was 18, 19. Duh, All my sure. sisters got kids early. Yeah. Terrible advice, Pops. R.I.P., nigga. <laughs> Terrible advice. Duh, worse, it was Put horrible. a condom on who's what he should have said because yeah. I'm out here fucking. You know, I'm out here knocking bitches yeah. down. Now, yo, now, speaking of that advice you got having kids, like, yeah. you got you said your, your daughter's senior. How, your next one is what, tw 12? You 12 said? in middle school. What's those conversations like, dog? About, about Especially with the oldest one, dog. What's those conversations like, dog? Like, they can't early. You know what I'm saying? She like, she different, though. So yeah. I'm blessed. Like, she oh, like, hell yeah, hell she yeah. kind of nerdy and shit, but okay. she like real pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you yeah. know, like a nigga like a nerdy, you do. quiet, you low key. Because you, really... you feel like you could change them. Yeah, a... <laughs> like, you feel me? But you can't with her. She real, like, firm her shit. She mm. going to be a boss type shit. For sure. Fair. So, like, with her, it's like, 
she had my, me and my wife example okay. of yeah. being young parents. And she see love and shit. Yeah. yeah, and we grew up in the house together. So like my pops was volatile, seventies mm. nigga, yeah. cussing, smacking bitch. My mom lumped up, pimping shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 Ike Turner. So I seen this and I'm disgusted by it. You feel me? Duh. My sisters and shit all fucked up. I'm the only nigga regular. So, <laughs> dog. So like. I'm the opposite of him, nigga. I don't yell. Like, like my advice to nigga be like, don't raise your voice in front of your daughter, nigga. Oh, yeah, for sure. Your for daughter sure. gonna see and she yeah. gonna be used to that. Yeah, yeah, All my sisters niggas be yelling at them and shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, no, for sure, for sure. They, they definitely gonna mimic what they see and think exactly. that's right from the crib. You feel me? Damn. So it's like, man, I'm just like leading by example. We talking about everything. Yeah. It ain't nothing off the table. I'm overly sharing shit. I'm overly nasty and yeah. like up front. Yeah, you got to though. So they're like, man, pops chill. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So... I just keep a, a buck, bro. For sure, you got to, you got yeah. to, you got to, because they gonna go and be curious, and if they, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, think, nigga, they friends got the phones. Oh, nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga, in, nigga, in elementary school, bro, it was a nigga showing pornos to all the little kids, bro, from like bro. second grade, bro. bro. No, for sure, for second sure. grade, for sure, dog, for sure, man. Showing like, ass titties, man, I fuck niggas, but we was fucked up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. Saying? yeah. But see, hey, it's so much easier ass sex for them dog to see, like, like, it's like so much. You know what I'm saying? Because we had to sneak it to our uncle shit, dog. Like, and all we had was the motherfucking little that little channel. Yeah, you, you got like, squeeze. You're like, oh, oh, I see oh, it. Oh, titty, Bad. nipple, and then niggas, niggas is yanking off with no. magazines. What oh, the yeah. fuck is that? See, you say yanking. I mean, you know, I know. I'm saying, I thought I was the only nigga be saying that shit, dog. I was, I was Al Yanker bitch in this bitch, nigga. I was weird Al, this motherfucker, yeah. nigga with yeah. the humped over shoulders, nigga. nigga. Yank daddy, <laughs> Yank daddy, daddy Yankee, <laughs> nigga, daddy Yankee. Look at me. But I could wait till my little brother go to sleep, dog. Cause my motherfucking granddad had the real cable in this bitch, dog. Oh shit! So you can watch that skin and mask, nigga. You turf. You and that bitch seeing titties. I had cable in my shit. Yeah. See, that's why I see niggas that had cables fucked up. But see, like I wasn't even on that for real. I ain't gonna cap to like maybe like tenth grade. And niggas was talking about it. Like it was normal and shit. And I I mean, I know niggas did it, but I'm like, man, I'm about to go over and yank my shit, nigga. Oh man, changed my life. (laughs) Fuck me up. I was I it's so like, focused prior to that. <laughs> then I was getting pussy. Nigga, after that, right after I did that, I was getting pussy, bro. Like, oh, yeah, because you got to graduate now. Gotta you ain't yank, nigga, so you got that feeling. <laughs> nigga, because my first time yank, I ain't know where to put, where, like, where, to, where to aim, where to go and shit, nigga. I'm, I'm in the bathroom hoping my mama don't step on it. <laughs> nigga, I was watching the weakest little Skin and Max movie, nigga. It's so, so trash. I'm standing up in front of the TV. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga fell down. That nigga had to take a knee. Nigga, Colin Kaepernick, nigga. Fuck me up. See, I was in bitch. It's like I said, we had cable. I was yanking off my vision, nigga. Oh, see. So I was just, I remember, I'm yanking up hoes I see in school. Like, memory damn. bang. That's called that's called the meat beat memory bang. Yeah, that's what that is. So, nigga, I'm in that bitch. I heard. <laughs> thinking I'm like, dog, please let me get every motherfucking piece of nub this ground, dog, because I don't want my mama stepping this bitch. <laughs> that shit does stain the floor, and it's still a stain up there right now, nigga. <laughs> This nigga beating off like he in jail off of memory, nigga. Just eyes closed, nigga. And, and nigga in county, nigga. Like, cause uh, I know, like Yankee, nigga. You hope, and you hope they don't get to somewhere where niggas might like, nigga. Oh, you got a toilet seat or some shit. Like you hoping that you got every part, every motherfucking nut off the ground, dog. Uh, you hoping. And your eyes be closed when you when you blast off, so you don't know where that shit went for real. <laughs> nigga, you ever been that motherfucker like nigga later that day? Like, oh shit, nigga, look at that. <laughs> hope nobody saw that. <laughs> Yo, no, that's your fucking dog. Yeah, Shout nigga. out to niggas that's yanking, dog. Yeah, nigga. with the Oculus, nigga, nigga, in 2023, yeah. yanking off like a nigga, I, nigga, fucking I, futuristic. I, I remember that, that first time, like I said, I got the towel. I cleaned up every part of the motherfucking Bleach that bitch down like he killed somebody. Hell nigga. yeah, like crown scene that bitch, dog. <laughs> Damn, that shit so funny. Like, who used all my Fabuloso? <laughs> Fuck. No, no it's Pine Saw. You know, it's Pine Saw. You smell that nigga. from outside, nigga. Sure. Now, what's the conversations like with your son, though? Like, especially now, he's... He swear, he just getting into it. These kids get nastier and nastier earlier and, and earlier, dog. Like, he ain't he ain't really, like, nasty like that yet. Sure. But, I mean, I don't know if you know, you know how niggas is. Yeah. They don't want nobody to know. But we super open. Mm. But, like, earlier, he, I'm talking about, like... And this hella personal, but fuck it. Like he probably like seven years old. Nigga mm-hmm. on the YouTube kids. Yeah. And um they had some like ninja turtles. Like April was doming up the turtles. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like April so, Neil going crazy. Nigga, my girl done, you know, she, you know, she searched everybody phone in the house, yeah. including mine. You feel me? Still all in my DMs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She motherfucker nigga, I ain't seen this motherfucking DM because she searched it first. Yeah, for sure. I almost missed the interview. Nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, damn. So, so she all in the, this nigga history and seeing this shit come at me crying. That shit was just a sad moment. So mm-hmm. I had to sit 
them down like yeah. early, like pull them to the side, like bro. Mm -hmm. It's natural. You gonna see it. Yeah, for sure. It was there. You know what I'm saying? That's sex. He, they was they, she was sucking his dick, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when you know what was going on, nigga. I seen you watch like ten other yeah, motherfucking videos. Yeah, so sure. your interest in it, that's normal and that's natural. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you gotta know that. But you gonna your time gonna come. Yeah, for Enjoy sure. being a kid. Exactly. I had a baby with your mama when I was a teenager, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, you watch the teenage mutant ninja turtles. I was yeah. raising your sister. You <laughs> yeah, feel me? Sure. So this for shit sure. was hard. I want you to enjoy your life and gotcha. you know what I'm saying and be about your you know business, bro. So just be a kid. Dude, I tell my son that right now, bro. Kid. He's 16. I'm like, nigga, this shit yeah. about to get real in two years, nigga. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> shit about to get real. Then you, you and Tim, he just turned 16. I'm like, bro. You got two more school years, nigga. Think about that shit from 14 to 16, a crazy jump. And yeah. this shit real right now for that Duh. nigga. I'm looking at how he's he, about to get real Duh. again. Yeah, I'm looking at how he, like, just, nigga, how he developing, nigga, like, how he get taller, bigger, stronger, nigga, like, yeah. his interests, like, he liking girls heavy, heavy, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nigga, had I first was you. Little, had you was first, on the same too, right? Had first little breakup and shit, dog. So I'm like, bro, Damn. that shit funny, nigga. Like, I can't wait for that shit, though. You know dog. what I'm saying? That's fire. That's man. like being a pops and to do this shit right, my nigga. Dog, he like, um, man, come he on. like, yeah, she, um, she asked to get back with me, but I'm like, no, nah, this your second time breaking up with me, bitch. Mm. Like, 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 this can't happen again. Yeah, dog. smart, cause you don't want no sucker. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yo, I'm, but you don't really want no like. Crazy hood, nigga. You feel exactly. me? You, you want don't. that balance, you don't. bro. You don't. Because, so. you know, back then, you like, yeah, nigga, my son can smash whoever you want to. But now, I'm like, bro, you you can actually wait, dog. Because you seen how that panned out for them niggas who smashing everybody else. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, at least I got all mines with mines. You know what sure, I'm saying? It's sure. like, Hell, and that's, nigga, that's shit. Yeah. That's a round of applause right there. Because... Most niggas, like I said, got baby mama, baby mama, baby mama. Yeah. And you stick it out. Y'all say y'all shit have been fighting through high, since high school. Since, yeah, same one. Like, That's what's up, man. Right. That's what's up. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, bro, you growing up, man. Yeah. What, you, what part of Detroit you from? If you from Detroit? Man, I'm a West Side nigga, but, I, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm, I really grew up in Southfield. Went to Southfield High. Okay, okay, you okay. You know what I'm saying? With them Southfield niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand yeah. them niggas, man. Yeah, for sure. I had that to did, wear Payless, what, nigga. That, that did. You said you wear Payless? Nigga, I had to, nigga. Oh, what shit. you mean? Nigga, I wanted the Jordans. Had the Kim Olajuwon. Oh. <laughs> This nigga was doing a fadeaway on that bitch. Nigga, I, was, I, had, I had to upgrade to the Air Forces, dog. You know uh, what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The McKeams, dog. My Kings. mom was like, it's, it's, it's a professional athlete. I'm like, mom, it's not the same. Dog, you know what's fucked up? I love the Key Bellagio. I Duh. had the jersey, nigga. Me too. Nigga. But I, I love nigga, them I shoes. I do the pump fake and all that. But nigga, I wore them shoes. Niggas killed me, bro. Man. Niggas roasted me, man. Now, back up. then, when you wore some fucked up shit, you had to be prepared to roast back. Oh, yeah. That's nigga, that's what it is. That's all, I mean, I'm you know, I'm nice with it. I be chilling. I be cool. I be just kicking it with everybody. Make everybody laugh. Yeah. But if a nigga say something to me, it's yeah. on. How, now, how, how, what's the worst shit you even came to school with besides those Hakeems and got blasted? Shit, nigga. It shit all in my jokes. And shit, but like you know, back in the day, big niggas wore husky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know you know about we ain't wear small, medium, large. <laughs> nigga, I wore husky. Nigga. Duh. Mama had me in Montgomery Wars, nigga. Man. Nigga, I left the motherfucking husky size sticker on the back of that bitch. <laughs> niggas got me for that, dog. They put, give me that shit, nigga. Husky, what's that? Like, oh, I get my shit. See, you were a husky when you get, when that little large get a little tight no, on you. No, dude, thighs getting a little. Nigga, oh, nigga, it was no. wearing skinny jeans for skinny jeans was out, nigga. Dog, no, niggas said husky. Husky, that nigga, yeah, nigga, niggas got no, me for that. And no. then you know, just being fat, like you Damn. had to be like. I, I was always big, but really? I was, you know, I just it just made me a player with it. For sure, you know for what I'm sure, saying? for sure, man. Hell no. Now you said uh, pops had other kids with other women. Was he at, yeah. was he ever at the crib with your moms when you was growing up? Yeah, I was okay. the last one. I'm the youngest. Okay, okay, okay. So I got to like I got to live with the nigga. Yeah, you got feel me? yeah, yeah. It was it was good and bad because he was on it was he was crazy motherfucker for a while, man. Yeah, and then he sure. got found church and shit when I was like in like, yeah. like ninth grade type how, shit. Now how weird was that? Him going from being a <laughs> Still just like, I mean, it like, like, for like for a year, niggas tried to get strict. Like, no more music, no more, no more rap. Like, what, nigga? No more Jay Z, nigga. Hell no. Duh, like, I it. tried it, you know what I'm saying? I tried it, dog. The niggas was like making me do the shit, but it ain't last. Yeah, yeah. So it was just funny seeing that transition. Like, nigga, nigga was still smoking this shit, yeah. but like trying to like be at church, like testifying. Nigga made a mistake and cussed at church, bro. Like, how you gonna make a mistake and cuss during your testimony? No, nigga? Like, for sure. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, oh, he, my bad, my bad. It was it wasn't, wasn't that bad. He was saying talk about hell or something. Yeah. I don't know, man. Shit, no, wow. Shout out to Positive. He changed yeah. though. He got it right though. Dog. Yeah, man. He did his thing, man. He yeah. little transition. Hell yeah. Now uh, <clears throat> speaking of you said him him not lying that y'all, you know, listen to music when he was making that transition, dog. What mm. was the music you you grew up on liking just based off your parents, though, off your mom and pops, dog? Like you mm. loving them just cause of them. Man, that nigga would play a lot of jazz. Mm -hmm. So like,
I ain't really noticed notice it then, but like now, nah, like that's all I fuck with on the music tip. As far sure. as like the beats I fuck with, like yeah. that Larry Jones we talking yeah, about, yeah, and that yeah, currency, yeah. the heavy like instrumental music and the Ross and all that shit. I for like sure. all that type yeah, shit. Yeah, Ross, that nigga monster when it comes to picking the yeah, uh, them picking beats. them beats. Yeah, and I feel sure. like um, I'm good with picking beats like that because uh, <clears throat> I like that instrumentation. Yeah, and my mom, she really ain't fuck with music like that. She play a lot of Nita Baker for sure, for sure. But like. So it's like I fuck with like a lot of that old school, old school. 70s shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. 80s shit. So sure. um but yeah, man, but I like I like I had like all them sisters. Yeah. So like when I was young, they, I just listened to whatever they had. Mm -hmm. So like my first CD was like, nigga, first CD mm. was like Warren G Regulators or oh, some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, West Coast yeah, shit. So sure. I remember that West Coast shit was yeah, banging. So you, like, was on, you was on West Coast early. Yeah, like, so like Warren G, I'm like a little kid and I'm like, yeah. I know all the words of that shit. I'm that's, like, that's, that's a hard song. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, and like, Tupac, Chorus, Big, mm -hmm. and then I found I found Jay. I was like a Jay Z, one of them Jay Z heads. You so you, so so you, me and you be bumping heads then, because Jay Z is he he a top rapper, but I always pick Nas over Jay. Bumping heads, we gonna be arguing all that. <laughs> we'll sure. we fire back when Ethan came out. Oh, that shit hurt. Oh man, Ethan came out. Niggas, that, niggas was at my niggas was looking for me when Ethan dropped. But you, if you think about that shit when they was beefing during that time, bro, in yeah. this day and age, they would they would diss Nas for waiting so long. Yeah. Cause that wasn't like right after motherfucking takeover, nigga. That was a minute. But the way that motherfucker dropped. Oh yeah, for sure. That shit killed it. I was like, fuck oh. Jay Z. I could. I was like, Duh. that's when you lights up. You like, oh my god, I'm Duh. going crazy. He through went that crazy. Shit. Yeah. They, they was going back and forth like a motherfucker, super ugly. You had uh, got yourself a gun. Yeah, I ain't like they none was, of them shits, bro. You like none of them? Ether. Oh yeah. I ain't hear shit after Ether, oh, bro. Oh shit, yeah. Ether, Ether killed was, that, and and I love takeover. You feel mm -hmm. me? But it but, was light. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah, came yeah. like. Bitch. He, 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 he blasted that nigga, dog. Yeah. Shout out to motherfucking Nas and Ho, dog. <laughs> right. Motherfucking ghost in that shit. bitch, dog. The golden era, nigga. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So, so, Jay, that's your first favorite rapper then, right? First favorite rapper, because I was liking Jay over Big for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, man, I was like, I just was trying to be different and shit. That's how I earlier was. But mm -hmm. Big for real, dog. Big, for is, sure, big for is, sure. is that guy for me. Nigga, uh, yeah. legendary off of really one album, man. Him stamped him, bro. Man. You know what I'm uh, saying? Crazy, because this shit was on some now shit mm -hmm. back then. So, like, and then he was a big fella, so and all for that sure. shit was player like Hell yeah, it was. old school vibes. For like sure. I fuck with that. Hell nigga, yeah, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now give me an album or a song, dog, that take you back to a time that you can just remember as clear as day, dog. Like it could be Damn. nigga, you were broke, nigga, you was with this chick, like just shit. Playing. it could be album or a song, dog. Take you right back to that time, nigga. Paint that picture. Shit, all music like that. It's all nostalgic. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What's like a <laughs> I don't know why this shit came in my head. I want that one. I want that one. A dumb, it was a dumbass song. It? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that Mariah Carey song? Like uh, it was, uh, a, it was a chick I like back in the day. Nigga, Starlisha Taylor, nigga. No. <laughs> she went to, <laughs> she went no. to Southeaster, nigga. Man, oh nigga. shit, South Southeaster. I went there, nigga. I mean, hey, I don't know what she. Uh, what's man, her name? It don't even matter, man. Cause oh. I don't know what she look like. Yeah, it's not, it's kind of we sound. was in like middle school or something, oh, nigga. But. Starlisha Taylor, nigga. Okay, Starlisha. Okay, I thought you said my baby mama. She was like, damn. Oh, damn, man. No, 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 no. I was like, damn. We were like, probably like six. I don't know what it was, but that Mariah Carey saw. Do, 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 was do, it do, We Belong do. Together? No, nah, okay. it was it was when you walk by. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Some okay, dumbass okay. white people saw it, man. But yeah, I guess why, you know. Kiss dog, that that that's funny as hell, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny as hell. Now, last thing I want to ask before we transition to, you know what I'm saying, your shit. Yeah. I don't know if you're too thuggish, man. Nah, hell no. Nah, when the last time you cried, dog? What was the reason? Damn. Cry. Was it because you had them twins and you start crying? Like, <laughs> we talking like cry like Denzel when he was getting like swooped in that shit with that one teardrop? Or is it we talking like. Uh, like shit. Which I want, which yeah, I want was last. Like, Man, I don't know, man. Like that, that's that ugly cry. You be like, nigga, you gotta be by yourself. Yeah, like, yeah, that's probably like when like when niggas die and mm -hmm. shit. Like when my pops died, I probably had the ugly cry going. For sure. But um like a cry like I be reflecting a lot. I'll be yeah. on some like law of attraction shit. For sure. And I'll be looking back like, damn, man, like mm -hmm. this shit really happening right now. No, for sure. So I might like do like a big ass show and be like, damn. Mm -hmm. Or a song come on and it'd be like a little baby motherfucking tear. <laughs> baby tears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. Damn, or my, well, your eyes water up. Yeah. That's really what it is. And if you just let them water too long, yeah. that shit'll build yeah, up yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that and when the twins, for yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, that shit. I don't know. Was that those tears of happiness or like, damn? 
Hill steers in my happy. pockets. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I ain't going I'll be capped. I'll be capped, dog. Dude. I'm 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 like a family man, bro. Like I love the kids, no, for sure, nigga. For sure. for my sure. shit harmonious. I'm mad. I cry in front of this nigga. This is my aunt. Oh shit! And I, when, well, it's family. And for everybody, when I found out we was having a little girl, I'm like, nigga, in tears. Like, I'm like, oh yeah. shit, these bitches won't stop. Yeah, because it's like you like for real. No, like, because I had two boys. Like, all right, now I got a girl. So you wanted the girl. Yeah, That's me and my wife. Up. Yeah, so and she tied those tubes up. Like, hell yeah. Damn, are you lucky? She throwing bitches out. She ain't tie them up, nigga. She burnt the bitches. I'm like, hell yeah. Oh yeah, you we, lit. We just got to adopt, nigga. We want another one. <laughs> Nah, you lit, man. Cheat, you good, nigga. bro. I I got no. two boys and a girl. Hey. I ain't gonna cheat though. I don't, I don't. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get the vasectomy, nigga, but I ain't gonna tell her ass. So she pop up pregnant, nigga. I'm yeah, like, hey, nigga, what hey, up, baby? Hey, shit can't happen. That one ain't me. Yeah, for sure. We need to have a talk. Yeah, man, right. <laughs> now, dog, I first got uh I first peeped you, bro, uh doing the podcast, man. Mm. Uh, that's the first time. Um, no, uh, no blood, no foul. Yeah. And I was hurt a little bit because I'm like, dog. So before I started this podcast, bro, yeah. the end of 2019, I wanted to do a sports podcast. It's gonna be called 21 Game. Mm. Me and my two homies, two plus one, three. Yeah, so okay. it's like 21 Game. They play 21 growing up. Everybody know 21. That's, that's fire. Besides, Texas. y'all can go something. You still do that shit. You yeah. see so many places y'all can go with it. Not for sure. Because in Texas they play 25. That shit was weird as fuck when I played that shit. Too. For real? Yeah, they play 25 in Texas. I fuck with it. Yeah, man. I play. I mean, I'm the king of 21. Yeah, yeah, I be man. killing 21. So, uh, yeah, we about to start that shit, bro. I saw your shit, man. Yeah. We got uh, Joe Crawford on there. Hell yeah. Uh, what's my man's name? I be seeing him Jay all Jay Youngblood. Yeah, I see him a lot at the at the games. Little yeah, kid he a games. coach and yeah, yeah trainer, trainer and all that. Too. So, yeah. man, how that uh how that shit come about, man? What was the you know what I'm saying start of the podcast and what yeah. made you rock with those two to have a perfect little blend? Yeah, well, sure. Okay, so it kind of started off and popped off like. Around the pandemic. Jay, mm -hmm. my dog. So, Jay just came home from playing overseas. Okay. He played 13 years over there. Yeah. We really weren't, like, tied in while he was over there. He'd come home every once in a while. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When he came home, we was just locked in. We was training. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He trained my son. We was just vibing. And we like, we got to start a podcast. For sure. So, his name is Jay Youngblood. Yeah. I'm good with the names and shit. I'm like, bro, no blood, no foul. Yeah. Man, that's fire. Hell I'm just, yeah, I'm just we chilling, you know, kicking it, watching the games. And he, we like, we going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, we did, like, some, you know, some little shots in the basement just, okay. you know off the cell phone they look right yeah so we like we gotta link up man link up with vince bro mm -hmm. you know vince is the one who runs alpha mm -hmm. so i'm at all the games so i'm in vince ear like bro i got some fire dog yeah trust me so sure. he's like he like for sure come on whatever smooth like whatever you want to do let's do it yeah so it was just it was kind of like one really bubbling and then right before the nba season started it was like all right let's get it we got joe crawford he mm -hmm. want to get down with us i had i had met him at the time yeah so um you know what i'm saying but like jay and vince oh, so it was cool with him yeah yeah, yeah they okay. was super cool you know you know, you know every hooper know everybody, For sure, everybody so it's like yeah. it, they was already locked in I'm pretty easy to work with you feel yeah, me like yeah, so we can start a podcast tomorrow nigga it'd be fire For sure, for you sure. know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. it's like I'm, we met, linked up. Every, it was it was just cool. We, we chopped it up about hoops. You know what I'm saying? I, I got jokes, hella questions. For sure. And I played an Ernie Johnson role. Like, yeah. I ain't never hooped in the league. Yeah, but you know your but shit. But these niggas did. Yeah, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm just a enthusiastic about this shit. I mm -hmm. love this shit. I'm at all the high school games. Yeah. I, love the, I love pros in college. Yeah. So it just makes sense, bro. And I keep yeah. it fun and funny. For sure, man. Y'all on uh, episode 17. Yeah, Last bro. episode was y'all first guest. Y'all had uh, LJ Harris. LJ, Harris. yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, on that boy, man. Like, it's cool. Is that yeah. something that y'all want to do more of is having people come on and talk shit like yeah man are y'all gonna just have like basically people with sports backgrounds come on show or like y'all gonna just pick you know well see like the vision is like right now we shooting it at you know the Craig cafe you know yeah. what i'm saying that's the spot it's under construction and once it's finished it's gonna be looking fire in that bitch we sure. gonna have niggas come through on some barbe like barbecue or like barbershop type of vibe for sure yeah, yeah where everybody got a little input and we do the show um, but we're going to invite like all these ex hoopers, you know what I'm okay, saying? Like all sure. these retired NBA players because Joe got a hella relationship. Yeah, for sure. So we got people pump, pulling up, like Derek Coleman talking about coming by, talking yeah. with us. Hell yeah. Wilson Chandler. We got all these like players. Yeah, and this is going to grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and like Jordan going to pull up. Jordan he be did. in the background every episode just chilling. You know what I'm saying? He either be asleep or he be laughing. Dude you feel me? That I don't understand, bro, why he, why he wasn't in the league longer. Hmm. It's uh, uh, Jordan Crawford. Yeah. I mean, he did, he played like nine years, but he, he did, never but, like latched on. Yeah, because he was killing with every... Killing every time he got a shot. Yeah. So it's like, it be politics. Mm -hmm. So to kick it with niggas off the field, it's like, yo, yeah, it's for that, real? Yeah, man, for it's sure, like for that. Sure. You got to like play a certain type of like way behind the scenes to yeah. now, what's your, latch on. Now, dog, you know, what's your thoughts on high school and college, uh, college uh, on hoops, bro? Because right now... 
Yeah, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it'd be like, okay, it's cool, but sometimes it'd be a little worn down. Sometimes Facts. the coach is kind of fucking it up for the kids. Always fucking it up. Yeah, and I'm the one that could do it because I ain't got all these cultural relationships. Yeah, you know for what sure, I'm for sure. I ain't got all that. Especially bro, like, with the AU shit, bro, though. That, it's like that shit. What y'all doing? We out here getting money, or we trying to like, <laughs> are we trying to take care of these kids? For sure. For like, sure. I mean, I'm I don't know, dog. This shit different, bro. Yeah. Like, and it's kind of like making kids are not learning how to be. Slick, sly businessmen at really? like yeah. sixteen, like, like ain't nobody making no type of no commitment to an organization, no bro. Cause yeah. I remember my brother's hooping. He played for Running Gun. He stayed with Running Gun the whole time. Yeah. Niggas with the family, stayed with the family the whole time. Yeah, my nephew's on the family. Stayed yeah. with the family. Niggas family. with uh, I remember the Magic's back then and Super Friends. Like niggas stuck yeah. to their organizations from nigga Pee Wee on up. Nah. Niggas just flip flopping, coaches making negotiations yeah. with parents and shit behind. Damn, think about it like this though, and I ain't think about it till you was talking, right? Mm -hmm. What they grow up on, the yeah. super team shit. Sure, you leaving sure. like yeah. we grew up on Kobe. Yeah. He's a Laker for sure. Mike, you feel me? With Mike, Mike is, yeah. a, is a bull. You Tim feel Duncan, me? that bitch. Yeah, like, niggas stick stuck around, and it was hard. Like KG ain't want to leave. No, right. he yeah. like like Dame. Dame is like or like a rare. Dame is from like our yeah for sure nigga, for like. sure. Hell yeah, that nigga so, like nigga. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a rank. I'm gonna feel better about it here. I think he gonna get him one. Man, I hope so, dog. That's I, wanna, I think I'm gonna get like one. Don't you know how they get like one certain player, like yeah. Dirk? Yeah. You get that one. So, do you think that's fucking up competition as far as like in the, in the, in the, with the youth, dog? Yeah, bro. I, I mean, I think it's a lot of the um, younger coaches, you know, like you said, mm -hmm. and they just playing all these politics. Mm -hmm. It's about money, who can get the sponsorship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where can my son get some minutes? Mm -hmm. Like, it's about. It's a it's a me thing, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And most players, if you stay on a we squad, you yeah. feel me? You won't get your shine. Mm -hmm. Like f four, of y'all gonna go D one. For sure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I mean, it's still out there, but I feel like that's messing it up. You know, the money and out of the uh, the whole nil the stuff oh, where yeah. they can get paid. Yeah, yeah. Niggas been getting paid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, low key. so it's like, nah, it's like it's a dirty game. That NCAA no. a dirty game, man. You know what I'm saying? And then now you got like the overtime league, mm -hmm. which is another league that you can play get, get some get money. Paid. Yep, yep. G league, you know yep. what I'm saying? So it's like. Cause wasn't it was the first nigga to say fuck all that? I'm, I remember, I remember B Jennings, Brandon Jennings, dog. Where he go? Australia? Uh, he went somewhere, somewhere. over there. But he, yeah. he, cause he had committed to Arizona, and mm -hmm. I man, fuck that. Got that, got that meal, one point five. Nigga, and, when, and, and he wasn't getting no minutes for real. Like if you go look at the his stat line, nigga. Yeah. Rick, Ricky Rubio at the time was getting way more, like doing that's more. A, that's a difficult ass league. Yeah, Them leagues sure. ain't no bullshit. For sure. But just to be playing in that league, real GMs yeah. is like, oh, oh and that's how what's saying got so high in the um, draft uh, picks. Uh, Lamelo Ball. Yeah. Prior to that, niggas didn't even have him on the radar. That Australian league is a real <laughs> fucking league. <laughs> he went over there. Came and popped the Suns, nigga. Yep. Niggas yep. came and popped the Suns for sure. Like, for sure, so. man. So and then another thing. I'll ask your opinion on this. You feel like the competition is worried down as far as like ain't nobody really competing in high school basketball because they, they so worry about AAU? Um, I still think it's competition because mm -hmm. it's like um, it's still that pride. For like, sure. If I, I got to play you, nigga. I yeah. think I'm better than you. You got more, you nigga. You like, and if we did a little rankings list. Yeah. Oh, niggas is tight. Oh yeah, Parents is, is in the DMs, bro. <laughs> People <laughs> is tight about these these lists. We got another one coming. It's about to be crazy. So yeah, I mean, but I so I think it's still competition okay. on that level. Okay. And then um, but some of the best players they go prep. Yeah. So like, it's players that like you know what I'm saying that's gone prep. That mm -hmm. if they was here, they'd be hands down number one. Like Braylon, sure. he a beast, but he's somewhere prep because he yeah. that good. So yeah, it's like, yeah, because that's what wasn't had did. So he came back man. when the whole Donda shit had happened, dog. Oh yeah, uh, Chuck. Chuck Bailey. Yeah. yeah, and then he was about to not be able to play, but now he can play. So yeah. it's like that was some fuck shit. Yeah, I'm glad he getting a chance. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. I think he gonna be nice, dog. I think mm -hmm. he uh, I think he gonna be number one at the end of smooth the year. game, everything. Yeah, dog. Smooth but game. they got. Like they got popped by uh, North Farmington, they couldn't but who's get that? past one, the press. One dude was hard for North Farmington. I forgot, kind of big fella. Ryan Hurst. Yeah, yeah. Ryan that Hurst. Nigga be balling, bro. Yeah, that nigga dog. Be balling, tough, man. bro. It's like he done, cause like he used to be a little bigger, so he done kind of like got you can tell he had that chubby bite a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you so you know, I rock with the big fella, so yeah, it's like he sure. bully balling them little dogs. Yeah, man. man. Now, yeah. do you feel like? Cause I'm looking. I remember. Shit, man, I graduated in 04, so I just uh, remember that DPS, though. Like, I remember Finney, oh, yeah. Southeastern. PSL I remember, used like, to be crazy. Yeah, back King. In the day. Like, but now it seems like more attendance in, in those suburban schools. Catholic League. Yeah, like. Bro, it's, I don't know, dog, because I, you know. Yeah, King and Cass still got it, because you got my man. That, that yeah. young boy is a motherfucker. We talk about Chaz for King? Who we talk about uh, uh, for, uh, for, Cass? For Cass. What's the name? Um, um, Acuff. Acuff. Darius Acuff. Yeah, I tell my tough. son, because my son, Tim Gray, he played JV. I'm like, listen, bro. Like, <laughs> They don't know who the fuck you are right now. Right, you gotta get to it. You should it. put this nigga on. This nigga should be on. You should be looking at this nigga every day, like, dog. I want to see this nigga one day. Yeah, but I don't. Think, I don't know if niggas think
he was small. Yeah, but he, he didn't even got taller. Dog. He like six two or something. Like last year he was like five five something last yeah, year. Dog. And I know his brother because his brother Tyson. I think his brother played with my with my little brother. He was a freshman at the time. My brother was like a senior or whatever. Okay. So his him and his brothers are all in the hoop. Oh yeah, the little brother always be the toughest. Cause you know it, it what I'm saying. Always be the yeah, toughest, dog. Cause I thought I had a little game. Yeah. My little brother came, nigga. <laughs> nigga started posting me like how uh, Denzel was getting posted. When he got game by Ray Allen. Like, Hold on, I'm at this like, oh, this nigga strong. Like, oh, he, man. nigga, one day he was whooping my ass, bro. I'm like, dog, <laughs> and he was locking me up too. I'm like, nigga, I'm doing everything. Ivo, nigga, up fake. He's still oh, there. Like, All right, you got it, bro. Dog, yeah, <laughs> hey, man. you got it, bro. <laughs> but That's yeah, crazy. dog, I, I peeped that dog. Ain't the, the inner city, they got them dogs, but it's like. Yeah. Them, them, they be gone because it's like it's a business now so it's like where can i go play like mm -hmm. my nephew uh was, was like killing um aau for the family mm -hmm. st mary's came and got him or mm -hmm. you know st mary's orchard lake and they that's like so. come out here and it's like you go out there and mm -hmm. that's the toughest competition for real is the catholic league yeah for sure now is it hard for y'all to keep up with these with this shit though like man for me dog so i ain't gonna going lie on. like i don't know how they like it's hard it's, it's a team effort like because the good thing is Vince get every game okay. you know what i'm saying so, every, so do you got people like working for him that's yeah going to, okay, he got okay. like maybe probably like three i think about three or four different like shooters that be going to games mm -hmm. getting the footage bringing it back it's a lot of work dog. Man, I, I, bet. Like, I like it's a grind bro because we like shoot man we shoot like two days a week mm -hmm. so we kind of like getting back to it after the holidays now and yeah. it's like Man. Gotta be focused And it's all these games You wanna see them But I got comedy I got Yeah like, You got Yeah, I gotta yeah do, yep, so. yep, yep. Damn yeah. That shit hard though I, 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 I commend y'all man Cause y'all doing yeah. some, some shit that I love Nigga with the sports shit bro yeah, y'all Keeping up with the high school Is like That's it's hard, hard man. Man. Them little you got, kids love that shit And you got niggas That's popping up all Different Like damn This nigga like, Who's this like, yeah, like, He ain't put up some points like, Yeah For sure balls and all that So it's like You get to keep up with it And see who really got game And now you know where to go When you wanna go see a game Now what's worse dog these motherfucking coaches or these fucking parents? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say the parents, bro, bro. Because the coaches really can't gonna say too much, you know what I'm saying? As far bro. as at us or no smoke, but and even then the cream rise to the top when you coaching. Your coach mm -hmm. wanna win. Mm -hmm. It be bullshit, but the parents, man, they just be like That shit, they make it hard, nigga. To go to these games, like I mean, even like I got I got my like everybody got everybody got their parents who they know, like, oh my god. This motherfucker. Though, right. <laughs> Please don't sit behind me, like you know what I'm saying. So bro. it's like, yeah, dog, you just gonna hear it, Weird. talking stuff all on the court. It's crazy. Oh my god! I saw, man, I'm coaching the game, bro. Mind you, these seven, eighth grade girls. So my team, I, I, I pride myself on defense, bro. So with my girls' teams, I told them like, dog, we ain't got a league of offense, bro. Right. We was number one off of defense. Damn. Like we, our offense defense was defense, gonna win, bro. Yeah. We was killing on defense. So nigga, I'm in that bitch telling little shit, like little sneak shit, how I like to. Bump somebody or make somebody yeah. mad poise shirts and shit like that, dog. <laughs> so nigga, ain't in this one girl. So nigga, I, I realized like most of these girls teams only got one, maybe two girls. Right. So nigga, I'm doing a triangle and two, dog. So I got mm -hmm. three girls in the triangle and two girls on the main, just on her ass. So yeah. they beating her ass, bro. My man uh, got mad, nigga, and winning that motherfucking game and nigga jumped on a referee, bro. So I had to break that shit up, dog. Damn, I'm see? like, nigga, these seven eighth grade girls, bro. Why are you so mad? They keep following uh, my daughter, dog. I do not like coaching, bro. Like, I man, I tried it. Like, when I, I tried it, <laughs> dog, for one bro. season, man. I, re, I got all the respect in the world. That shit hard, I'm bro. that motivator. I'm a good assistant coach. I ain't no head coach. For sure, for sure. I'll talk to him with that shit. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> It's little white moms coming up to me like, excuse me, um, you know, Jacob didn't get in. I'm like, what? man, I hate Jacob that shit. Jacob trash. No, <laughs> we yeah. down seven. He ass, bro. <laughs> like, Come dog, on, he man. never played basketball a day in his life. Right. Dog. Every time he get in the game, we nigga, they go on the run. Yes, dog. Yeah, they, they coach is smart, him. man. I told my AD, bro. I walked into the situation. And I, he already had twelve girls. My like, bro, we should have had nine. Yeah. We should not. We should have four off the bench and five starting. Dog, ain't no way we should have as many girls because those three don't need to play at all. Yeah, and it's like. Right. It's, it's it's unfortunate. Whole family done came out to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we did that shit. Nigga, freshman year at King. Nigga, my, no. my brother get no burn. Nigga. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> no, but support. yeah, parents gotta understand, bro. Like you gotta be realistic and see. Like every time my kid go on that bitch, he blowing layups. Nigga can't control the ball. Like nigga, be for real, dog. Niggas don't understand this I, shit. Hey, I feel the parents too, though. Cause like my nephew really like my little brother, dog. Yeah. And like right now he he fighting through that in college. Like you a okay. freshman, yeah. it's tough to crack that rotation, no, bro. It is, it is. It's the same shit he dealt with when he was a freshman in high school. So yeah. it's like that'd yeah. be my biggest thing, just to kind of like be for there, sure. man. And, you for know. Sure. Now, last thing I want to ask as far as and we can get off the sports shit, dog. Yeah. Training versus hooping. Oh yeah. We was, like what 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 you think is is helping more? Because you training, you crossing those cones over. Yeah. You ain't got nobody when you go to the left, cut you off. You got you know what I'm saying counter. 
But when you hooping playing 21, you got to go through motherfucking Dog. niggas double team. You get 19, you get foul. Yeah. Can't call foul. All that shit. So which one you think make for a better player? The, the, the dude How who I, go hooping all the time or the dude who train all the time? Damn, man. That's a great question, bro. Because you would you would think the one that hoops all the time, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. But... The training, man, that shit is next level nowadays, you know, dog. Is, like, yeah. just from like me training with my dog mm. on certain shit, like my shit done got nice. Yeah, for sure. For I'm sure. like, damn, okay, I'm all right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't like crazy like that, but it's like, it just, it's so helpful. Mm. We ain't had that. Like, niggas wasn't doing that. At all. All the hoopers was just hooping against the best competition. Mm. So, really, the real answer is a combination of both. Okay. You need 50 50, I feel like. No, for sure. You for know sure. what I'm saying? But I still, I think that hooper, that right hooper, mm -hmm. He gonna win every time. Yeah. Cause you cause the dog is in you. You know what I'm for saying? For sure, for sure. So it's like, but it's like it's gonna be more niggas that's like nice off yeah. the training. Mm -hmm. But the dog gonna come from that hooping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Hell yeah. Cause yeah. I remember nigga just hooping with old niggas, you couldn't call foul, nigga. Hell you don't, you nah. ain't you ain't got respect to call foul. Nigga, you man. 16, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You nigga, my yeah. ball. And you can't say shit, nigga. Can't say nothing. Nigga, man, my pump fake so crazy from hooping with old niggas. Oh, like nigga. my little Hezzy, I I've been had the Hezzy. I was so a float like, king. Yeah, see, you got to. Cause it's like, man, I ain't even going down there with them. I'm 5'8", nigga. They beat my shit, yeah. so I had to figure out, like, all right, let me float this bitch, dog. Yeah, they be trying to rough me up. I mean, had me in the post, so, like, yeah. that's why I'm, like, I'm tough, like, on, like, on the court. I, I ain't playing. Yeah. yeah now, man. would y'all be in, um, because, shit, man, ain't too many, like, sports podcasts that's doing it. How y'all doing it? Yeah. If any. What um other sports podcast shows do y'all look at, study, watch, whatever, dog? Man, <laughs> I feel like we the ones, man. You know For what sure. I'm saying? For I ain't sure. gonna cap, like, I ain't, like, because I'm, like, man, I want to be, like, a producer. You yeah. feel me? I want to, like, do, like, I had like 20 shows under my belt, mm -hmm. different podcasts, TV shows. Like, I want to do that Charlemagne, uh, sure. Nick Black, Cannon yeah, shit. Black Effect, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, just get had just bags everywhere like and just be putting people on mm -hmm. on shit we interested about. For sure. I feel like, you know, shit, niggas got a voice, man. But my shit, my favorite one was Knuckleheads. You feel oh, yeah, me? I fuck with Knuckleheads. Dog. I feel like Knuckleheads kind of they, like they be falling off and on. They do, dog. They do. I fuck with Knuckleheads. I like their vibes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's when I look at I fuck with JJ Reddick podcast. I do too. I fuck with JJ the Reddick. Old Heavy, man dog. in the three. Yeah, I fuck with that JJ. That shit kind of fire. It's yeah. like I don't know why the conversations. It's just like he know what to ask. He exactly, exactly. A, a pro. So it's yeah. like, and, and I'm he, big he, on. He ain't too biased yeah. and nothing like that. Exactly. Yeah, I fuck with uh, JJ. Yeah, I fuck with his podcast heavy. Um, but like I'm big on like letting the pro do the talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I want to hear they opinion. Niggas don't want to hear what I got to say. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Until it's time for they want to hear it. Because it's yeah. like, this ain't saying nothing. And yeah. I say some shit and I got like a weird way of thinking. Mm -hmm. But it's like, that grow with your consumer because it's like, but I, I knew that because mm -hmm. like, we care what like Ernie Johnson think. Like, what for you sure. Hell yeah, for what sure. you feel about it? Yeah. Ernie, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or like, Stuart Scott back in the exactly. day. Like, you yeah, care yeah. what a nigga. So it's like, I know that. So I just kind of stay out the way. Yeah. But like I try to just combine all that shit, even sure. up in smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh Matt Barnes and oh, them. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wish they blazed on that mug. Yeah, you feel me? But for sure, hell yeah, all sponsorships smoke. and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I fuck with them niggas heavy though. For yeah. real, for real. I fuck with. And Matt Barnes, you can tell he like he they, they come on just too chill. Like yeah. how many all the blaze, bro? Hell yeah, dog. You can tell. Now crossing over, like I said, I want to get to the music shit too, bro. Yeah. You, you start off with the music shit, man. Twenty twenty one, you release. Uh, consistency is key. Uh, uh -huh. what what was the response from those two projects, bro? And then do you feel like you know, what I'm saying you get the love from the music that you want? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I feel. I mean, but like, see, I'm like a big ass like look in the mirror type mm -hmm. nigga. Mm -hmm. I ain't apply the effort that I put in the comedy in the music. Into music, yeah. I feel like if I did, I'd have, I'd have turned up in my own way. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's like when you've been wanting something for so long, you it's just like a lot of resistance that comes with that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? That you got to really let go and like really let go, let God. Mm -hmm. So it's like. I feel like I did want more of a response, but mm -hmm. fuck that. You don't deserve it, nigga. You yeah, did you what you deserve. Did, you ain't did what you supposed you to do. You did what you yeah. fucking supposed to for do. Sure, for sure. So it's like, that's what I know. And it's like, I don't want to be looked at as just a rapper. Mm -hmm. I want to have my face card and my like foundation as a comedian mm -hmm. that got bars. For you sure, know what I'm yeah. saying? I do this mm -hmm. and do it all gracefully. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. like, be like, damn, okay. And then I feel like in the in the long run, everybody going to look back like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the whole vision. Yeah, because so. like, nigga you, nigga, you bam, bam, yeah. bam. You here, here, here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, the thing with the like, my following with the young dogs to mm. all the high schoolers is like turn, turns up now. Yeah, cause I see they say, nigga, yeah. oh, wh who you picking, nigga? Uncle Smooth or motherfucking Stephen A. Smith, nigga? Yeah, that wasn't my <laughs> question. I was surprised. Yeah, I like, my dog, I'm like, why you do that, nigga? Right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Say, I rock Uncle Smooth. Man, I'm like, that's what's up. So it's like, so when I hit them with the music, it's like, yeah. it's gonna be, 
I ain't trying to force feed you niggas. For sure, for this sure. is what I'm doing. I'm on some chill, Larry Jones shit. I'm vibing. But I'm thinking what you doing yeah. that shit. They be like, oh, this nigga do music too. Oh, yeah. this what the fuck that nigga talking about? Exactly. Even though you said you been doing the shit, bro. Yeah, so you know it's like I'm, I'm gonna look like I'm brand new with this yeah. shit, but nigga, you know. Now I like I like quarter one more than quarter two. If I had to pick. Okay. So I want you to give me your top three songs from that shit. My shit is Detroit to AZ. Yeah, that's uh, my favorite All song. of my bros and uh, Disconnect. Yeah. What be your shit? Off that side, off that project. Yeah. For sure, Detroit to AZ. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's some good ones, bro. Mm -hmm. You like Disconnect? That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah I'll be having different vibes and shit. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, I'll be all over the place, and I feel like that's my critique on myself. But mm -hmm. uh, I like We Family off that boy. Okay. Um, that's number one. And mm -hmm. um, damn, all of my bros. All of my bro. Yeah, that shit hard. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Uh, I'm going to go disconnect. Okay. All right. All right. I, but see, I like second quarter better, though. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now, second quarter, that's, we can switch to that. Yeah. Talk, I got this shit called Talk About the Bars. I take a bar, we talk about it. Okay. So, from Spice Talk, you say, uh, it's Spice Talk, right? Yeah. You say, you know your house dirty as hell if you ain't grow up on near Baker. <laughs> that shit true. <laughs> <laughs> that shit true. Yeah. That shit true. Yeah. Talk about that shit, bro. Cause Man. Like, okay. Can you smell that shit, nigga? You can smell how it's getting yeah, clean. Like, like, you know what the fuck time it is. Like, you gotta get up and you gotta go vacuum some or go yeah. clean up. But no, nah, man. <laughs> My mama, that's what you see, I, I, like, the only shit she listened to was Anita Baker. Yeah. That was it. So it was like, nigga, that's what we did, nigga, on the weekends. House sure. clean, smelling good. Hell yeah. Shit had to be right. Ain't, no, ain't none of that dirty shit. Ain't no For whole sure, ass. None Hell of that. Yeah. Like, Hell shit yeah. these young girls be on, man. <laughs> Yeah, baseboards all dirty. What the Dog, fuck? Baseboards dirty. You feel nigga. me? Like you? No, hell no. Hey, Tell somebody to bake on. You know you don't never know some motherfucking baseboards are dirty. Tell you take those pictures in the crib. Like <laughs> God damn, you zooming in? You ain't looking at the ass or nothing. You looking yeah. at that motherfucking base? Like get every real nigga zoom in. <laughs> if you hey, if you see your nigga doing this, ladies with the motherfucking zoom, that nigga zooming in. Nigga zoom in on every Yo, like, picture. Damn, they got carpet burns in this bitch. Every nigga. picture. Stains. Get nigga. your background together, ladies. No, if you got cream carpet, take care of that shit. <laughs> Gray carpet, take care. That shit, yeah, dog. get some hardwood. Rip that shit up. For sure. For sure. Shit yeah. Nigga, your shit's my piss, nigga. You ain't take care of baby. <laughs> <laughs> dog. No, yeah, man. I'm big unky, dog. I hope I don't botch this shit. You can help me if I fuck up. Yeah. He just score A1. Don't show no emotions. Not passes the ball. Don't care if you open. Uh, shit, you got to know when and know the coaching. I yeah. said this shit right? Yeah, hell All yeah. Right. So I get what you like. You say, nigga, like sometimes you got to know when to take your shot, dog. You, you got to know. know. Like, yeah. It's like, I, this is my last shot. I mean, you know, it's like. I don't care if you open, yeah. nigga. I ain't got no emotion. Because when Kobe scored at 81, yeah. he ain't had no emotion. He didn't care if he was open. Exactly. He Sometimes you got to know when to ignore the coach. Exactly. exactly. The greats know when to say, fuck that coach. Man. Kobe do like this, it's it's time. Like, I can go get a bucket, dog. So it's like, yeah, for sure. For I got to, sure. like, my shit be really motivational to me. I was I was writing all this shit, like, during the pandemic. We locked mm -hmm. in the crib. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But for I'm sure. like, man. Before the world blow, I gotta get these bars off my no, chest. No, for you know sure. And with that, I even compare that to my life, like real life situations, and with my son hooping because he 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 got a coach that like don't no threes, nigga uh, layups. But my son is a good shooter. So one game, I'm looking like this nigga passed up on three shots. You feel I'm me? I'm like, right? what the fuck going on, man? Coach, I'm like, dog, you gotta know I mix both that shit. And sometimes you gotta yeah. say fuck that coach. And then next game, I call this nigga. A nigga hit nigga four threes and pow pow. See what I'm saying the coach go. I didn't know you know I shoot like that. Nigga, you only use me. Nigga, right. like <laughs> coaches don't be knowing it, bro. But like, one game he didn't play at all. He got that bitch nigga go past him. I'm like, no, listen, dog. You you the coach nigga gonna go with the people he had last year. Yep. So nigga, you go on that bitch nigga. You got a nigga go on that bitch nigga a hundred. And you gotta put it all out there, dog. Yeah. Like, you got one motherfucking shot, nigga. Dog, you niggas did not miss your chance to blow. Niggas in that bitch like, <laughs> like shot. We didn't know you could shoot like that. Like nigga, this nigga ain't nigga put me in this bitch. Nigga, he nah, put, you know he put a bomb <laughs> in over me, nigga. Like, now you know, dog. I mean that bitch losing my voice, nigga. Like, yeah, nigga, shoot that bitch. <laughs> That's the best feeling when your boy be like, yes. For sure, for sure, dog. we've been working on. <laughs> and see, that's the thing. Go back to the training shit. Mm -hmm. He go with his mom for the summer. She don't okay. got him hooping. Got you. So yeah. he come back home, I got to get him back right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because he's just eating and playing too good. Mm -hmm. The whole summer, nigga. Yeah, and see, that's weighing on his psyche where he ain't, yeah. you know, you got to be locked in because everybody else locked in. Man, niggas is hooping. Niggas is locked in. Every bro. day. Niggas smell it. They like, man, I could do it. Yeah. And they for real with so, it, dog. Man, I had a real conversation with him last week. I'm like, bro, I know you love to go see your moms, nigga, but you got to think. You got two years left. If you need to tell your mama, hey, I need to get some hooping shit while I'm down here. Exactly. Like, you got, nigga, you got two more years at AAU, nigga. This is over. 
That's facts. Or you gonna be a walk on there wherever school you go to, nigga, and hoping that you can make you it to get it the hard way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's it's now sure. or never. It's now, now or never time. Now you got this one shit, man. I wrote this down before I even knew about your whole situation. You being married, you having a baby in no the way, dog. You got a song called "Shoot Shoot the Club Up." <laughs> yeah, that was like. <laughs> It's like a little interlude. It was some funny shit. Yeah. Hey, I was gonna ask you your worst scare though, but you gonna answer that already, dog. Yeah, nigga, shot the club. <laughs> shot the club. Yeah, for sure. You shot it up and didn't even know, nigga. Yeah, you thought didn't you was even good. know, man. Thought I was good, bro. You thought you came in with the motherfucking uh, the, uh movie bullets in that bitch, dog. Man, it was. Hey, man, I got set up by my own wife. <laughs> for man. sure, hell yeah. She trapped me, man. Not all my bros legit. Yeah. What all your bros, dog? How do you know when you got the right circle of friends, bro? Cause I always look at him, man, and I, I shit, I'm jealous because he got friends from shit, nigga, forever. Damn. And niggas legit, though. I can't even say, I can't even pinpoint a year, nigga, like. I got friends like that, like, been so, my friends, like, third grade, you so, know what I'm saying? So, like. So, how you know when that shit, like, that shit legit, for cause, real? Because, man, like, people, like, okay, like, people always do shit that's fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. And they, like, intentions, you know what I'm saying, get revealed eventually. For sure, fat. So, like, when you see people ain't got that and it's been time, then you kind of know they locked in. So, it's like, and people going to do it quick. Mm -hmm. So, like, I blaze a lot of weed. Mm -hmm. I grow and shit, all that. So, like, niggas come around because it's like the weed's there. You feel me? They know I'm hella, like, we want to smoke. What's up? Yeah, you feel me? Nigga going to watch your gang. So you, so you start noticing when a nigga ain't bringing shit with mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and, and, like, matching you back and shit. And I, and I let it slide if it's my nigga. Mm -hmm. But you just kind of just always know and remember. Mm -hmm. I got the studio popping. I'm giving hell, everybody free studio time. Mm -hmm. Crib crazy packed all the time. Sure. So I got to shut it down. So it's like, you see who using, you see who don't. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you gotta value the people that that don't want shit. For sure, for sure. Everybody call always wants something, but for nigga like yo, what's yeah. up? And yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's rare. And so. sometimes, see, even with everything you do, dog, you kind of like see who where your friends, who really supporting, who yeah. really, you know what I'm saying? Get down with you, and some niggas can get jealous because you doing some shit that they wanted to start and they even start. So you kind of like, yeah. And it may not even be comedy; it yeah. be something else. Like mm -hmm. I ain't got shit to do with that. Yeah. Now yeah. disconnect, dog. You said fuck them test books. You can't trust what they wrote. Yeah. What we talk about that? Like, like, when did you realize that some of the shit that they was even teaching in these schools probably was some old, some old false shit, dog? Like, because of course we gotta do our own teaching. When we yeah. get older, everything ain't Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. You feel me? Because that's the only thing we learn when we. That shit's a lie. <laughs> Man, then you, like, you even said some shit, and that, and that shit, talking about some like every black person wasn't brought over here in, in, on on a slave boat, nigga. We, nigga. we was here. We was here, nigga. We ain't land on Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Plymouth Rock landed yeah. on us. That's what that shit mean. Yeah. You feel me? So like, okay. Um, I'm heavy on that, bro. Knowledge yourself. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I had went through a whole little journey and shit. Like mm -hmm. I moved down to Arizona and um got into some trouble and shit mm -hmm. and um fucked up. Came back. And anyways, down there in Arizona, rock by some with the sun, bro. Yeah. Woke a nigga up. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Something about melanin was activated, but yeah. like niggas started learning about law of attraction. Then I went like heavy on like my African spirituality, mm -hmm. but it, black power yeah, and shit. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. That shit get hella aggressive and angry. You feel yeah. me? And I'm noticing that, so I got more into like the law of attraction vibe, meditation. Like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. this is how you manifest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I was just big on that, and yeah. like I'm a like nerd on the low. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For so sure. like all that like. They came here before Columbus yeah. and all that shit. I'm into that. Yeah, for sure. And that's my favorite topic to research. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like ancient history and shit. And mm -hmm. then, like, what the fuck is the real? I just want the truth. You yeah, feel for me? sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of them niggas. So yeah. I'm like, you can call it a conspiracy theorist, but all these theories that came true. So now I'm just yeah. a what? Yeah. I'm a realist nigga. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This shit is, for like, sure. we all know it's cap. This Man. whole Matrix shit. Duh, and I was growing as fuck yeah. before I realized, like, melanin Same. and shit like that. And Bro, you, you start realizing about like, 30 nigga, when I found out. Yeah, how you react to when like the sun is out, when it's a mm -hmm. cloudy day and shit. And then you start looking at it even harder. It's depressed like, as fuck right now. Look out, it's gloomy yeah, as hell outside. Exactly. And then you start looking into like motherfuckers who when you seeing like our corpses missing and shit, dog, like dude Kendrick Johnson yeah. in Florida, this is like twenty fifteen. Nigga, he beat to death and his body full of stuff with newspaper because they ain't took his shit. Bro, watch how fast the motherfucking doctors mm -hmm. take that placenta. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. And I and like cause I had knowledge of self on my last child. Mm -hmm. So he, he he five now. So like I was about to take it, but it was like I was like, I, you know, I I wasn't thinking about it. I'm I'm cutting the umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching this motherfucker just they, leave. They do zoom out that bitch. They zoom <laughs> out that bitch. Like it's I, dog. <laughs> man, it's this this is the high level talk. Yeah, you know hear yeah, me? So yeah, it's like sure. But yeah, like getting that knowledge yourself was just through like researching mm -hmm. and this, you know, using discernment. Yeah. I grew up in a church, but it's like I know that Yeah, you learn more yeah. once you get out of school than ask you what you learned in school, bro. 
Like, real man, if I mean, if you give a fuck, yeah, yeah, that's that too. Yeah. Because my shit stem from my kids. Like, I want to know like how to answer my kids. Oh, nigga, like, how no. we gonna like what we supposed to do? Nigga, dad? thank Jesus, my oldest son, dog, know what he doing, bro. Yeah. I'm looking at some of the math he had, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh man, that shit. Yeah, I'm talking about on life. I ain't talking about <laughs> nothing school. Well, I'm talking about when he come at me like, yo, dad, what's up with this? Oh, is exactly. This, yeah. Is this shit? I'm like, no, my nigga. Like, nigga, cause my son yeah. came in with some first grade work, and I feel like a jackass. Like, <laughs> hold on, nigga, this how y'all do math? Yeah, I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> like, this some bullshit. My yeah. oldest daughter. Is the whole she know everything, so yeah, she take care the, of the younger ones. You know, she go to college, I don't know what we gonna do. Yeah, you know, yeah, nigga. It's <laughs> over. It's over. You gonna be calling her FaceTime with her. FaceTime, like, that's it. Just get know. the phone up like that. Like there you nah, go. it's funny. You say uh Detroit the A Z dog. You said one bar you said, truthfully, I wasn't being a real me. Yeah. And that's the reason why I was running to these difficulties. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I'm peeping dog. You know what I'm hey, saying? That's what's up, my nigga. Wow, dog. Hey, that's what's up. Man. Hey, dog, so I see you going yeah. through some shit, bro, down there. I don't know how you wanna speak on it. If you want to speak oh, on it. I'm free as fuck. Yeah, I can talk about whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, you was facing some shit, dog. Yeah, you know bro. Saying? Like, <laughs> like I always had the weed. Yeah. So I like, I like was copping QPs, just smoking, mm -hmm. smoking for free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wasn't sure. like, like a boss in, by any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, nigga pulled up on me and made me boss. Nigga yeah. gave me like, <laughs> pull <Pulled> up. <laughs> We smoking like nigga, your shit loud. I'm like, yeah, you know, I be doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I, sure. I, 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 I smoke freely, so it's like this nigga was like, I'll be right back. He went outside, came back, gave me like seven pounds. Mm -hmm. So I got rid of them seven pounds the yeah, next day. Yeah. I just went to my plug, you know, gave yeah, me seven. It's sure. easy. Got them, yeah, you he good. was like, Dad, I like you, my nigga. He yeah. brought me 20. I said, yeah. okay, oh, bet. You, you ace boogie My now. nigga, yeah, I'm on. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm on. I went back to my plug. He said, nigga, the seven right there. Yeah. I was like, what, 20? I'm like, oh, shit. Man. So I had to figure this shit out. Like, you feel me? So I was low level like a motherfucker. I just yeah. hit all my boys up. Yeah. Gave me some, you know, so I got yeah. through it. And I was like linked up with a real nigga, so uh, <laughs> we all, I, I was catching this pack from AZ. Okay, you know what I'm saying through the mail and shit. So uh, I went out there to AZ. Mm -hmm. I'm out there, nigga. Oh, so you coming from Detroit? You were back Detroit, from? yeah. Okay. So okay. it's like I I, I was just catching them. That's it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I ended up going out there. Yeah. And man, like I said, man I, man, I grew up in Southfield, bro. I ain't on none of this, bro. I'm a silly nigga all yeah, day. For sure, for sure. I be everywhere though, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All on the east side, you yeah. know, West, it don't matter, but like I'm just silly and I'm just myself. So for sure, like for sure. I'm the same way. I ain't trying to be tough. So I'm out there, nigga. Long story short, nigga, we had we was we was getting new numbers. It was like a hundred. Mm -hmm. So uh we got rid of them. The next day we had like thirty and it was finally like mine, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was ours. It was like fifteen was mine, fifteen was his. Yeah. Nigga, the police came, nigga. So I kicked the door on my birthday, nigga. Yeah. Kicked the door in, had to go to jail, was facing like conspiracy charges, like drug trafficking. Yeah, damn. You scared too at the time, probably. Scared as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no probably too. Scared as fuck. But like, I was on some like, this shit ain't happening, dog. Yeah. I was, I like, I ain't know about law of attraction and all that shit, but I was like, I'm I'm going home to my babies. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna stick. I don't know what's gonna happen. It ain't gonna stick. Long story short, while we in there, Probably in there like two weeks, nigga, mm -hmm. seventeen days, some shit. Um, they had put a, a um little, little tracker on the whip. Okay, you feel me? But yeah. they ain't had no warrant for it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So they had to drop because that's yeah, how they, they got the look. Yeah, yeah. So they dropped it with prejudice. You know what I'm saying? Without prejudice, so like I couldn't get in no trouble where they could bring all this shit back. Mm -hmm. So it's like I kind of got out of that shit. But man, I it mean, really was like pay for a white lawyer that yeah. knew the fuck was going on yeah, probably knew the, sure. you know what I'm saying the prosecutor type shit and just like okay yeah, yeah. as soon as I paid that shit that's when they found out mm -hmm. you feel me yeah. so it was like happy as hell I did, got but, that jam man. yeah got the, you know what I'm saying it was like that ain't even me my nigga like mm -hmm. I'm a silly nigga I'm, I always want to do comedy it's for like sure. I, sure. I was just trying to get some money to feed my yeah. babies on some big no, shit a lot of times like, we find ourselves doing some shit like yeah. nigga this Fuck am I doing, bro? Like because like we, you know I grew up on Blade Icewood, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Know, you know, yeah, for sure. Rock bottom. It's like, oh, yeah, nigga, man. this is my chance, nigga, to finally be a boss, <laughs> nigga. What you mean? It's my chance to be a boss. This is God giving me these give these pounds, nigga. Hell yeah. This for was sure. like <laughs> that's it. And, and the way you talk, it, it just fell into your hand. It fell into my fucking lap, and it, was, it just happened to work out, and it was like a good situation. So I thought, yeah, <laughs> you feel me? But. I left that shit. Was like I'm never going back to Arizona again, nigga. Yeah. Fuck that shit, man. And I went right back, bro. I'm about to say you ain't. I'm about, I, I just about to yeah. say you ain't been back. I went right back. I got a job out there working for Chase, nigga. Mm -hmm. Over the phone, it was some like phone interview on a Wednesday. Yeah, had the job by Friday. Yeah. So I told my girl, nigga, like, yo, do the same shit I did. She got the same job, yeah, nigga. We sure. just drove cross country with yeah. the kids, and I was out there for a couple years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started doing like taking a rap serious, and mm -hmm. only did that. And yeah, shit. what made y'all move back to the city? Shit, <laughs> um, 
Nigga, I did one video out there yeah. um, called Student of the Game. Mm -hmm. And some nigga that worked at like Rock Nation seen this shit. Yeah. And this nigga uh, like set me up to come out and meet with Lenny S mm -hmm. um, in, in, in New York and shit. We was at Hitmaker Studios. Yeah. So I uh, drove back here. I mean, no, I flew back here and drove to uh to New York. To New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went with uh <laughs> my pops and a nigga named Pastor Mo, man. <laughs> Pastor, I don't know if y'all niggas know Pastor Mo, but he always on Fox too, bro. He look yeah. like a, a rapping, drug dealing ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. my family, though. It's my brother in law. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we drove to me with Lenny S, man, and uh I rapped my shit and he was like, man, your shit fire. He rocking with it. I played mm -hmm. like six songs, niggas was, was was vibing. We was rapping, standing up. Yeah. You're like, man, you gotta go back to your city, get your shit hot. Yeah. So we came back. back here and yeah. did not get this bitch hot. <laughs> Was depressed than the motherfucker coming from Arizona. Duh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Mm -mm. But that's how you know your wife was the one. She, she, she rocking with you because she came back with you. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it all happened for a reason. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I know I'm yeah. on my journey. So it's yeah. like, that's why I look back. It's all beautiful now. At the time, Because if like, you didn't do that shit, you wouldn't have got to, you know, comedy shit, the podcast yeah. shit. You know and then like like my best friend, my brother, dog, who looked like twins, bro, mm. he had passed right after I came back. Oh, okay, dang. So I got to spend like the last year with him. You feel exactly, me? And exactly, it was like exactly, exactly. it was a reason why. It was yeah. like all ordained, man. No, so for sure, for beautiful. sure. He's having your birthday, man. Oh yeah, happy belated, but I know your Thanks, shit bro. December first and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I be man, like I said, I try to you know what I'm saying. Research it over here, I try, dog. I try to do some no. shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Man, man. man thought. You ever get cheated on your birthday, bro? Your shit being that's why I brought it up because uh, shit, your shit close to Christmas, man. I got Hell two babies yeah. that the birthday close to Christmas, bro. December thirteenth and December fifteenth. So you ever feel like nigga? Sometimes mom's like, hey, listen, I nigga. know they cheated. You feel me? I know they <laughs> feel super cheated. close. It's like, hold on, we just gonna do a whole little vacation. You feel me? We combine everything. It's everything, nigga. Christmas. Man, you ever get cheated on one of them years? Like, damn. I feel like some years they be like, yeah, we are gonna get you on Christmas. We are yeah. gonna get you better on Christmas. For but sure. like, it's kind of far, you know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah, right yeah. after Thanksgiving. Yeah, you still got a little, yeah, a little. So time. like, you might be able to get your auntie on Thanksgiving. Like, hey, auntie, you know it's next Thursday. Yeah, you feel sure, me? You sure. might as well hook me up now. I'm get the, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, for sure. Something like that. Yeah, a little bit. Not really though. Duh. Now you know I ask everybody before they come on the show, man, just out of courtesy because niggas don't like to be put on the spot mm -hmm. and they want to rap some bars, man. Yeah. And you say you was with it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's get it, man. Yeah, man, shy style motherfucker Sunday, man. Yeah. Got motherfucker Uncle Smooth in this motherfucker, man. Big Tigger, you already know, hood Big Tigger in the basement and shit, man. <laughs> Feel Shout me? out to Yeah. Uncle Smooth. I got bars too, baby. Yep. Got a new little project dropping. It's okay to burn the cookies. Yeah. Shy versus everybody. What up, dog? Shit. Uh. Look, look, it's okay to burn the cookies, these ain't chocolate chip None of these pounds homegrown, I had to take a trip I got up off my ass, went and got a bad My bitch bad like girls that work in Sailor V and Northland Even with that PPP, you still lame as fuck I get your ass less than a year before you fuck it up The loudest nigga in the room usually cap the most I let that pace be for itself, but I ain't gotta boast Bitch in my DM, but she never even liked the post Won't stay for breakfast, but you know a nigga brought the toast I can eyeball that work, don't need no calculator Got 10 grow ops, bitch, you looking at a cultivator I done ran up a check in this Nike tech And I ain't broke a sweat I ain't finished yet, I got M's to get, plugs I haven't met I done made mistakes but I ain't got no regrets You the hottest in the D, not necessarily, but I be talking crazy Your nigga need therapy, yesterday's price, that ain't today's fee Wanna book me, gotta holla at Security D Black billionaire hoodie, off-white Jordans Pulled up in the shooter, then peeled off in the foreign Quit the block a bitch like my tumbo with morning She like smoke, can we please fuck before you're touring? Maybe next time, little bit Baby, I got bags to move They have been calling me smooth since I was a baby too I kept my head down and stuck to the game plan Chopped down 20 plants, I won't sell a gram Smooth Smooth with this bitch, man Oh Damn, dawg, this is the beginning of the new year, dawg Should I rap some bars too? Rap some bars, man, <laughs> man let's freestyle I was, I, nigga, nigga, that's a written, Hold man, on. let's freestyle Oh no, my shit gonna be a written, dawg okay. <laughs> Cause I said, dawg, you know, I'm a, I am can't call a Big Tigger in the basement without rapping some shit, dawg Hell yeah, hell yeah, So I did, cause Big Tigger's a rap, dawg, so fuck it, dawg I'm gonna try some shit, dawg I ain't a rapper, though. Start this shit over, dawg, got enough time? Alright, fuck it Oh, shit, wait a minute? Okay, let me see what I can do, dawg Damn, I hope this shit go with, dawg uh, <laughs> Hey, yeah 
Hey, it's been a minute since I wrote some shit. I'm still thinking about them old days. Listen to Ludacris. Shout Had to be like 13. Yeah. Little nigga with no game. Chilling in my room. Headphones on, bumping Lil Zane. Laughing at that shit. Thinking, what the fuck you doing, nigga? I was new to everything. I didn't have no clue, nigga. Got a little game as I grew up. A nigga getting fresh. Wearing beard, bro. Had me downs. I'm just trying my best. Braids to the bed. Had me feeling like AI. Hey, First chick I crushed on. She played me. Didn't say why. Fucked up. She did a nigga dirty. I didn't understand. I was mad till I got some hoes up at Eastland. Go bad Thursday, catch the bus and you ain't got shit. Chillin' at the food court, waiting for another chick. Damn, I said chick, bitch, dog. Bitch. <laughs> Chillin' at the food court, waiting for another bitch. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can relate to that. Man. <laughs> Hell yeah, so every time I'm gonna try to rap with a nigga, dog, they come on That's this That's fire, dog. dog. I fuck with it, dog. Man, for sure, for I sure. I fuck with it. Hey, this nigga do give me Larry, uh, Larry June vibes, though, dog. <laughs> on the smooth shit, bro. Now, yeah, uh, man, we gonna turn up, I promise you. The man. last thing, bro, this nigga do so much, bro. With the movie shit, man. You say you uh, your first film. Yeah, uh, man. Born Cursed on Tubi right now. I go stream that. Yeah, shout out to my girl, Marissa Mar Monet. She was in that bitch, dog. Yeah, I got my ass whooped. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, got beat down real quick, dog. Uh, it was terrible. So now with that shit, is that giving you the bug to like... You know what I'm saying? Want to get more into into hell me? Yeah, into that shit. yeah, that shit was fire. Seeing yourself like on a big screen at a movie sure, theater, hell yeah, hell and then yeah. like um at the end of the movie, I like said I was like bitch ass nigga. I ain't even say nothing, and the whole crowd laughed. I'm like, oh that shit, that shit did something to me. So it's like, I'm like, yeah man, I'm I really want to finish my script. I was already working on it, my right. outline of my character. Hold so. on, real quick dog, you said yeah. you're writing the script dog. If you writing think, the script. If you need thug number two, thug number two, if you in it? Man, man come on, you gonna be my light skin cousin? Oh, oh, what you oh, mean? Oh, only thing I want to say is I want to say some shit. If it's gangster, put that shit down, cuz. <laughs> okay, all or, right. If you need somebody to get their ass whooped, like man, I got you dog. I gonna <laughs> do you dirty dog. Sure, nah, you gonna it's gonna be some player shit, but yeah, Duh. like. Yeah, man, the script is uh shit. It's almost done, man. It's a it's a it's based on the funeral game. Okay, I used to be in a funeral game with my pops and shit back okay. in the day. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So I was at every funeral home working like freelancing from Swanson mm -hmm. to Cantrell on the east side, nigga. Mm -hmm. I stayed on the east, like yeah, with yeah. the limo, nigga. <laughs> Everybody that died on a nigga. If I look familiar, that might be why, my nigga. I, been, I was I was I stayed over here, like you know, like just Duh. get it in. So, so you be one driving the what the shit to the the lim like not the hearse but okay. the limo. Okay, I'll pick you. Like, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, okay, so family family homes always hire a limousine yeah. company. So yeah, I nigga probably picked those up a couple of times. You feel me? <laughs> picked up. It's just how I be. So uh, <laughs> it's based on that. It's like a little smoke buddy comedy, but it's yeah, some yeah, fire shit. That should be funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. Like, hell but it's yeah. someone from that perspective where we going at every funeral home. Yeah, the drug gang that get involved. It's gonna be some fire shit, bro. Duh, that shit sounds On some fire ice cube shit, I promise you, it's gonna yeah. be fire. When you when you when you looking to put that shit into production, dog? Well, shoot, this summer really like so like script is gonna be done by February. Mm -hmm. We want to get in like pre-production till like April, mm -hmm. May, June. When it start getting nice out, mm -hmm. we gonna be shooting. We gonna yeah. be at the marinas, the boats. It's gonna be some mm -hmm. player shit, yeah. some funny shit. Now what your uh, cause seeing comedy is it's, you do a lot, but seeing comedy is like the passion. Like that's the, yeah, man. I always wanted to be a comedian. What, what, what's the big picture with the comedy game, dog? Man, take this shit to the top, bro. I want to mm -hmm. be the greatest in my generation for sure. You know what for I'm sure. saying? I'm, I ain't here to be like a just a regular comic view nigga. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? For Although sure. I love the comic view niggas, but. Yeah. Everybody goal is to go be Dave Chappelle, for sure. Kevin Hart, or whatever, however you want it. I mean, but it's like everybody wins in comedy because mm -hmm. you take it how far you can take it. For sure. So for I sure. want to take it like to the top. I want to be the voice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be looked at like that. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, him. Him. Now I know, man. You you growing up, you watch Making a Band. Yeah. <laughs> Cheesecake, nigga. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Yo, band, man. I want. I'll do, I'm gonna do two two bands. First band, rap band. You mm -hmm. and four of the uh, rappers, producers. Singers, whatever you and four other people and to make people. this Uncle Smooth album, dog. Shit, I Who? guess the easy answer would be me, Dyla, 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 and Dyla. Yeah, for sure. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Damn. So like a fire ass group. Yeah, you and four. It could be producers, singers, and rappers. Oh, that's that's what got me going crazy. Yeah, you and four other people, dog. Oh, damn, that's a hard. That's a fire question. Man, I love that question, man. dog. Yeah, I try, dog. Yeah, that's fire, bro. You can, you MVP, can, MVP. Free, MVP. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Okay. So first off, let's just quit playing. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Drake. We need some melodies. Okay, for sure. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, you Drake, cause Drake hard. I can't. I can't cap on his. No, career. for sure. For his sure. statistics is there. I ain't like that, that. That last album with 21 though, niggas. Yeah, that shit was God, I, fuck, moist. I fuck with 21, but he, he fucked 21. I ain't peep how moist it was. <laughs> like I listened to it on the plane, so I'm vibing. Yeah. And I got off the plane, I'm like, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It was a hit, dog. Yeah, I don't know. And I fuck with 21 Heavy. Yeah, 21. 21, I fuck with 21 yeah. for sure. Um, so I'm going to go you. Drake. You Drake. I like Future, too. Even though I like like real rappers, yeah. I like Future, dog. For sure, can't go wrong with Future, dog. Um, I don't want to get like Hove and all no old nigga shit. Yeah. I'm going to go like... Damn, Benny the Butcher. Okay, yeah, he hard, dog. Hell yeah, my nigga Benny. So you Drake? Future. Nah, fuck Drake. Oh, fuck Future. Nah, none of that <laughs> shit. I'm going. I'm going. Me. Yep. Benny the Butcher. All right. Larry June. Bet. Currency. All right. Last but not least, dog. I'm bringing back Future, nigga. We need some vibes. <laughs> we need some vibes. Future, For turn sure. that bitch up. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now <laughs> you're making a bad comedy, dog. You on you. This this your uh kids mm. of comedy dog. Damn okay. You and four of the comments dog. What's going on? Talk about still alive, right? It could be still alive. It could be niggas from the city. My favorite. Okay. Niggas in the industry dog. You and four I'm going of my favorites of all time. You right, know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna just host it. I'm gonna let them rock. Yeah, out. you gonna get your Steve Harvey on. Yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna right. just host that thing and um, shit. I'm going. Jamie Fox. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, nigga be sleeping on Jamie Foxx. Sleep on Jamie Foxx because we, we gonna have him do the music at the end. Hell yeah, for I'm gonna sure. throw Foxy. Yeah. I wanna be the best producer of the comedy yeah, shows sure. too. Hell yeah, it's hell gonna yeah. be some fire shit on the way. But like, we gonna throw Jamie Foxx on there. Mm -hmm. After Jamie mm -hmm. come out, we gonna go. We gonna go Dave Chappelle. Okay. Then we gonna, you know what I'm saying. Sinbad. Okay, okay, hell yeah. I fuck with Sinbad, yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like, hell I yeah, want Sinbad to get some love. I, you know, he be back walking, hopefully. Oh, for sure, yeah. He, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Doing his thing. And so, then Eddie Murphy. Okay, so Eddie Murphy, Sinbad, Dave Chappelle, Jamie Foxx. That's fire, though. That's one more. Do I need one more? No, you you part okay, of it. Okay, so that's oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, dog. My last yeah. one. I know I said two, dog. That's all good. You a podcast host, dog. Yeah. My one special episode. You mm. and four other podcasters, dog. Oh. <laughs> Mm, I'm staying local, dog. All right, bet. Cause it's like, well, no, nah, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Cause I'm a fuck with. You said there's four other ones. Yeah, you and four other ones for one fire ass episode. I'm gonna go. Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. Um, you Joe. Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Uh, who I think is fucking hilarious. Andy Schultz. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck, I fuck with Andy yeah, Schultz. Yeah, I fuck he with fire, bro. Yeah. I'm glad y'all hit. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go Charlemagne. Okay. Let, one more, dog. I fucking yeah, bring up, oh, shit. Let's go. Let's pull get it, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Up, dog. Let's get it, dog. And we're gonna pick these niggas' brains and get the game, yeah. dog, and start our empire, bro. Cause yeah, and Charlemagne got put us on Black Effect, nigga. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> like we gonna, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's sure. a strategic Fact. one right there. I like that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog, before I get to my last little bullshit, dog, mm -hmm. to you personally, man, what's What's the, your definition of success, man, for you? Just for you personally, dog. I love that question, bro. Um, honestly, bro, I be saying, like, oh, you know, to be happy, to be have yeah. everything, but fuck that. <laughs> My nigga, I'm talking about, I want to be, like, up, like, some M's. Like, I know, like, like, 17. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like... You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I want it, but it to be mine. But to do that shit with my manhood, mm -hmm. never put a fucking dress on. Yeah, for sure. Nigga, for sure. never you fucking you so. question my. Yeah, you never gonna question my like soul, my intent. Mm -hmm. And as a boss, you feel me? Like for sure. then, like that's the success. Like yeah. when I got that, when I'm like, I yeah. got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know how to. It's, it ain't no moment because yeah, you can you, never get there. Yeah, you find that you financially stable. You can help out. You got kids. You got your, yeah. your lady. You make sure everybody good and shit up. Yeah, so. but once I'm up, it's like you always gonna want more. Yeah. So I understand that part of the journey and mm -hmm. understand that like the first one is when I like really got that Benz. Yeah. Like, you Cause you know me? niggas be like, yeah. <laughs> so definite success for me is just I feel good. I wake up. Yeah. And I feel good. I like, know you feel good. Plus, I you feel, got some yeah, money, but you gotta <laughs> feel good now to get that success. So for I sure. feel successful, bro. I like. I feel like being yeah. invited on shows like this, bro. Mm -hmm. I know this is my journey, For bro. sure. Like, Hell yeah, fast, it. fast, dog. Fast, so. dog. Now, uh, oh, yeah, real quick, because it's you and two other people on the podcast. So you know a lot of niggas. Yeah. They come up on the grind together, dog. They good. They love each other, man. They, they, yeah. they were bros. But when that money come to play, what's something that you feel your child would do not to be in those same situations at certain shows breaking up because money got in, right, got in the way some, like, Joe to see breaking up yeah, nigga, yeah, brothers yeah, and shit. Sure, like, you sure, know yeah. what I'm saying? So what's some shit that you feel like you have to do to make sure that y'all keep that, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, like, to me, it's all about transparency. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, them niggas... You niggas, former pros. Yeah, for sure, for they sure. They got their paper. I ain't never been in the yeah, league. You know sure. what I'm saying? So it's like, sure. I ain't 
anything's a blessing to me. No, fact. And it's like to me, the goal was to be able to talk sports, bro. Yeah. And to be taken seriously, yeah. and for that shit to happen so quick, mm -hmm. seventeen episodes in, like yeah. to me, that's my blessing. But I'm humble and I'm mm -hmm. upfront and I'm transparent, and it's like money shouldn't split shit up. No. And no. I'm doing so much else shit. I'm trying to like pour all my resources into this shit. Yeah, for sure. This shit sure. is like a long so, game. Do so. you hopefully y'all get picked up by something like or make some money off this podcast some type of way? I mean, smart money say like stay independent, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And like just build this shit out because I got like, you know, you gotta have that seven streams of income. For sure. So let's say rap take off. Mm -hmm. Let's say comedy take off. Let's say the podcast take off. Whatever mm -hmm. take off, all my shit taking off. And it's for like sure. we're gonna be have way more leverage, I feel yeah. like, to, mm -hmm. to be trying to like do our own thing yeah, yeah. and get our own sponsorships. And um, I'm a whole ass nigga, first off, <laughs> for not even mentioning Gilly the Kid and, and Wild. Oh, yeah. Million dollars worth of game. No, I love them niggas. They the blueprint. Yeah, love them. You know niggas. what I'm saying? To yeah. like make all that money in the in the But let me ask you this yeah. though, because when you say that, I look at it like this. It's, it, it ain't been too many, too many podcasts that blew without having somebody who already kind of been in it. Exactly. Wallow, you ain't know who fuck Wallow is, but we knew who Gilly was. Facts. So I, so I want to see somebody take off that really, like, nigga, oh, what who the fuck that? they come from. Yeah. Right, I think you got a couple podcasts that kind of they, that blew up. I'm sure I can't name. But, like, I want to have it's on the, Not really, though. Yeah, but you know the black saying? aspect, like, where the fuck this nigga come from? Yeah. And just, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you think about the Joe Button podcast. We know who Rory Maul was, but we knew who Joe Button was. Exactly. And we know who was. Yeah, we knew who Gilly yep. was. You know what I'm saying? We know who Stevie Jackson and Matt Burns is. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, I want to see a yeah. podcast that blow up with you. Nigga, I, where the fuck these niggas even come from? Exactly. And then, like, that's my goal. Like, with Joe, he been in the league. He played, like, four years in the league. Mm -hmm. So he got validity and it's like they know who that is you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and then like jay he played you know he's respected here for sure but like if we were to blow up like i feel like it'd be like that yeah that'd be like, dope who was doing was a fucking team. but like however i blow up man and anybody that do blow up they've been working at that shit for years bro. exactly yeah like it's, it took 10 years to be an overnight celebrity type no, for shit. sure for sure you think so, shit happened you think you think kevin hart yeah, blow up yeah. but you forgot about paper soldiers you know what like, i'm saying then, even before then he was working yeah. and like all like on the circuit bro mm -hmm. so like with comedy it's a whole different world than rap, than rap, than podcasting, but sure. I'm bringing this shit all together. Dog. Hell yeah, hell so. yeah, man. Hell yeah. All right, man. Versus battle, man. I give you two things, two people, yeah. whatever. You tell me who'll win. Mm. All right, nigga. Old school, Nia Long versus old school, Jay Pickett. Nia Long. Don't even ask me no questions. Nigga. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Um, The best man? I got to watch one? it. I got to watch it. I, gotta, I heard she's still man, bad. Still, I heard she's still legit, And though. still, to this day. Yeah, yeah for to sure. To this day. For sure. Make a older, whatever with me tripping, bro. <laughs> A little, little white. What? Big time, nigga. What? Like on that, nigga. Like you crazy. But you know, you show me a bad bitch, I will show yeah. you somebody sick of that bitch. Sure. You know what no, I'm saying? Fast, 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 so fast. like, hey right, man. But we yeah. know Friday one is the best Friday, but give me Friday two versus Friday three. I disagree with that statement. Oh, uh, you disrespectful. Yeah, I'm rare. I'm rare. Very disrespectful. <laughs> I disagree with that. I mean, what's the best Friday then? You gonna say two, ain't you? Man, I I change. Okay. So I like. But right now I'm on Friday one, and mm -hmm. I'm like I be I be going like that because I love all the Fridays. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my whole like basis of one of my movies and shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna go Friday three mm -hmm. over two. Okay, okay. But okay. I was two for the longest. When yeah. Mike X came on for the sure. scene, Funny I was hell. two like two of the best yeah. one. I like Mike Epps more than like that. You know uh, Chris Tucker. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that day was my favorite character. Okay, so, okay. You know, what give I'm me the um. We know Neil on the bass dog. Yeah. The chick from Friday two or the chick from Friday three. Great question. Mm, I just watched next Friday. <laughs> and me and the kids supposed to watch Friday after next, but they've been bullshit. <laughs> so it's like that that third one did something different to me. I'm, I'm thinking about the time. No, she was nice. But number she was, two. I'm, I'm here, next Friday. Yeah, because old girl on third one, she was on that Lloyd's Bait video. I never yeah, she shit. was cold, but now nah, over the years, she was looking uglier and uglier in the face. <laughs> like a little finding Nemo character Duh, with them lips. So, yeah, I'm Duh. going, I'm going next Friday to the Mexican. Right. She's speaking in Spanish. Niggas. Right, you spoke of Jamie Foxx earlier, dog. Give me the Jamie Foxx show versus the Wayne Brothers. Oh, niggas don't do that. Yeah. Niggas don't do that one. Hate it, dog. Niggas he don't hate, do he that hate, one. Dog. He hate Wayne Brothers, dog. I love Wayne Pops, nigga. <laughs> and Marlon Wayans was hilarious on that shit, dog, bro. Thank you, dog. Man, and I just watched, I was watching uh, Jamie Foxx with my boy. He was yeah. like, wait, this ain't good as Martin. We was watching Martin and uh, mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx. Damn. Jamie I'm going to go with... Uh, that's a tough one, bro. I'm man. going with Wayne's Brothers. Thank you, man. You're a good person, though. I'm going with now, Wayne's you brothers. watched Red Fox San Francisco back in the day? Hell yeah. No, right. but not like, not all the time. All right. Which one you rather have? The Red Fox pickup truck or <laughs> Jamie Foxx Astro Van? 
<laughs> I'm going to pick up a truck. I'm trying to get some paint by here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me and Lamar, yeah, we going we to get some paint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We gonna get some paint. We over here, dog. Astro fan, nigga. Hell man, dog. for sure, dog. For sure. <laughs> Give me a uh, macaroni. You want mm. stiff versus creamy. So you want to pick that bitch up and just fall, or you want that bitch you got kind of like carve into, and you got them cheeses that then fucking layered up. Well, hold on, now, cause you know I I do make macaroni and cheese. You know for my family. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. You mac you mac yeah, and cheese. I'm a, man. Yeah, I'm a mac and cheeseologist. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. The motherfucker got to be thick to get in there. For sure. And they got to have a cheese pool, but you can't. It can't be dripping. Yeah, you, you, no, can't no, can't your, drip. you can't turn yeah, your. You can't turn it upside down. It can't be a KFC like, mac and cheese. Oh hell no, nah, none of that. Okay, none okay. of that. Okay, okay. It got to be a color too. It can't be all white. It got to taste good, man. Inside yeah. and out, man. Yeah. All right, night life versus day life. Mm. Day life, bro. Okay. They like Yeah we get older nigga That shit is changed like, yeah, like, I mean yeah Cause it's like nah, I mean I don't know I just like to be up bro I yeah, don't never sure. go to sleep Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm tripping so Alright so we know You love comedy dog Yeah But <laughs> Movies <laughs> Versus podcasts Movies versus podcasts Yeah I'm going podcast bro Cause I got so many More ideas Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my own Joe Rogan boy Where I can just talk And just kick it Like for this sure. shit right here This yeah. shit is easy yeah, bro yeah, No for sure It's for fun sure. So it's like yeah. In movies, you got to be on set all day. No, for you know sure. What I'm they got to do that shit all like yeah. 30 different ways. No, for sure. We did a little bullshit scene, nigga. That shit took forever, nigga. nigga I told forever. nigga, I might be about an hour. That nigga said shit. Right. I was just fooling that bitch. Yeah. Like, damn, nigga, we just playing basketball. Nigga, I got my ass whooped. I had to fall out that chair about 30 <laughs> times, nigga. My shit was all fucked up. I'm like, damn. Duh, as a shooter, who you rather have? Clay versus Ray Allen? That's a tough ass question. I, I ain't gonna say Steph. But I'm gonna step all the way all day long. Yeah, Clay versus Ray, dog. As a shooter, dog. I'm gonna go Ray Allen just off GP. Yeah, I gotta go Ray. That's my era. You yeah, feel for me? Sure, but for like sure. Clay ain't no fucking joke. Dog. No, hell no. Clay hell no. different, man. Hell no, dog. But yeah, Ray, Ray. Brown versus Kobe. Mm. That's a tough one, dog. I'm gonna split the room on this one. Yeah. Brown. Brown. Yeah, it's tough though. The Kobe, my favorite player. Kobe, ever. yeah, it's like cause I cause I be going Jordan, Kobe, Brian. That's how I go. That's till I go. till Brian done playing. Yeah, but it's like I gotta go Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Kobe so much. For sure, though. that's my nigga, dog. Yeah. Which one was more? Which one you felt like was, was more? Kobe eighty one. Kobe 60 and three quarters. 60 and three quarters versus the Dallas Mavericks, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, nigga. I'm, I was mad as hell. I was like, yo, he could have And that game, like, <laughs> meant, that game felt like it, I think it meant something. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, I, don't, I don't remember, but. Yeah, for sure, man. Hell yeah. I, but, hey, no, fuck that. 81. Yeah, I mean, that was hard, too. 81 is still 81. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah dog. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Let me see. Who, who, uh, let me get uh, Fresh Prince versus Martin. Ooh. This is a debate in my house right now. Yeah. Um, and I'm watching all the Martins back too. Yeah, you know what but I'm that saying? last season Martin was trash. It was, dog. I'm on like, season one right now. That's so a funny I'm... moment, but that last one without Gina, dog. Yeah, it wasn't right. It yeah. ain't. It, it wasn't right. My my answer, uh, final answer would be Fresh Prince of Bel Air, bro. Cause mm -hmm. that shit classic. Every it's episode. classic. It's classic. It's classic. Fuck, dog. I gotta go with Fresh Prince. It's classic, dog. Jabot outfit versus guest outfit. Oh, I'm going <laughs> nigga T's, bows and Reeds, nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jabot outfit, cause like. Like, I had to get a job to get shit like that. You feel me? Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the guest was, like, before I could really work. You yeah, feel for me? sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, and that shit looked sweet that and shit. School shit yeah. yeah, but, like, you know, and I got me one for Christmas one year, but it was, like, past the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was on Jabos. For sure, for sure. Hell I had yeah. this green, blue jean one. It was, like, a green. That shit was so like, this. <laughs> what you mean, stiff as hell? Motherfucker, like, what up? What you saying? I like, what you saying, cuz? <laughs> Walk sideways. <laughs> dog, <laughs> last one, dog. Then we ended on, on, my, on my little shit. Yeah. As a comment, standard comment, nothing else. Martin versus D.L. Hughley. Oh, Martin. Mm. Martin. Yeah, Martin. Easy, dog. Now, D.L. Hughley, back in the day, when he was on Comic View, yeah. when he was like roasting everybody, yeah. that's a D.L. I like. Because I feel like Martin should have took his spot in Kids Comedy. <sighs> For real, it's probably just who they was cool with, dog. They probably was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, Martin was one of the coldest on the comedy, but yeah, like, yeah. I ain't gonna say like Martin fell off, but like as comics be getting bread, for bro, sure. they, yeah, yeah. it's something about it. I don't know, they're that, just not that regular. That you so crazy at first stand up. Even the um, what the what's name? Um, damn, what was the second uh, comedy shit? 
Rontel that. Yeah, Rontel that. Rontel that was yeah. fire with that the shit. little leather outfit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, we brought leather on both of them boys. Yeah, he hell yeah, sweat his ass off. Eddie Murphy got niggas wearing leather, man. Like, man, I ain't doing sure. it. You know you ain't you ain't made it till you wear that leather piece, nigga. No, you ain't lying. So you got to wear some leather, nigga. Man, I don't know. I sweat too much on stage. I be doing too much. You feel me? Like, I don't know. I can't never do that. Everything, dog, with a drunk moment or a high moment, dog. Funny story when you were drunk, high, and not on cocaine. Oh yeah, I don't fuck with coke. <laughs> I feel like real niggas don't do cocaine. I'll be getting a lot of backlash for that. But damn, I know so many niggas did coke till I said that shit. Like, exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't fuck with that shit. Um drunk, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 okay. Uh high moment. All right, man. I was smoking some weed. My boy hit me up like, hey dog, you know what I'm saying? Um some girl at my job, little, you know, he's like little dyke bitch at my job, want to, you know, cop a little quarter. Yeah. It's like, all right, bet. For sure. I was, I was like, I was like, where you work? So he gave me the address. I pull up. He's like, yeah, she a dyke bitch. She gonna come out. Yeah. So this is, you know, how niggas talk. You For know sure. what I'm saying? It wasn't For no sure. disrespect, but yeah, niggas, yeah, yeah. That, that's how they yeah, address yeah. a stud. Yeah. yeah. Little man, this little stud bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had some team drawers on. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, bet. So he gave me her number. I text her like, I'm outside. She said, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm in the parking lot just waiting, and I'm like. Just parked like by myself. Okay. All of a sudden, a girl pulled up. She had like the little square earrings yeah, yeah, yeah. and a little low fitted brim. Yeah. Remember the niggas used to rock the fitted brims? Yeah, yeah, sure. She, you know, brim low all you can see Hell is the flow. Yeah, for sure. Jay Z style. Yeah, she yeah. pulled up. Yeah, straight up like all that. Like camera and shit. It was a big brim. You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> Man, square earrings. Yeah. I thought it was Cam, but it was like a chubby girl. Look kind of like Manny Fresh. Yeah, you for know sure. what I'm saying? You already know how that shit be. Yeah. Yeah. So she pulled up. She looked at me, I looked at her, I got out the car. I got in her back seat because it was somebody in the, in the front seat. Yeah. So I get in the back seat, I'm just chilling. And mind you, I done smoked probably like four blunts. I'm just back here blow, not even thinking right. So I got all this weed on my lap. I was trying to sell an ounce. Yeah. She wanted a quarter, but I was going to flip the ounce. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, for sure. So uh, I got the ounce on my lap. This bitch in the front seat, like having a whole conversation. Yeah. And I'm sitting here, and me and the girl just locking eyes. I'm just sitting, I'm like, okay, obviously this bitch is the, her, her girlfriend want to get the weed. Yeah. So I'm just chilling. So as I'm chilling, I get a text like, where you at? Like, where are you at? And then my, my phone ringing. I'm like, hello? She's like, yeah, where you at, dog? It's a hood ass stuff. I'm like, I thought I was in your back seat, bitch. She's like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, she like, I got here, she outside here to yeah. win. So I'm looking. And I get out the car, you feel me? I just hop out the car and like and got in my car. And then as soon as I got my car, that car, she skirted off. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I go. It's this uh, stud bitch, but she got like a little haircut. She got like a little, you know, button up on. Look, she at work and she yeah, had a little, yeah. little polo tucked in <laughs> with some Tim's on. I'm like, oh, that's the. That was some high shit, bro. I ain't even, I ain't even ever talking about that story, but my nigga was saying, like, dog, you ain't gonna believe this high shit. <laughs> High shit, bro. Dog, so they didn't say shit when you got in the car, dog. Nothing, bro. I, it's still the biggest mystery of my life to this day. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I know that bitch had to be terrified. Because yeah. like, I'm like, you, 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 you got the door. She, the bitch unlocked it. Like, it was locked. I'm like, nigga, let me in, <laughs> bitch. I'm, I mean, if they go, I'm back there like two minutes. Yeah. It ain't no like 10 seconds. It's two minutes. I'm just like, fuck, what the fuck? I'm about to be like, ass or like, what the fuck we doing, bitch? <laughs> yeah, man. Dog, crazy. that's a classic, it's dog. It's a random ass story, bro. Damn, that was a good way of uh, yeah. opening the new year with that story, dog. <laughs> God damn. That nigga, that bitch chilling yeah, hard, Chilling nigga. hard, bro. I was about to roll up. Like, man, these bitches shit, bro. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> this nigga in phone call. But no, I'm laughing. He got the one motherfucker look like Mill Bleak with the hat down. Yeah. He said, that bitch, that bitch nigga working hard. And nigga. we kept locking eyes. I'm like, why the fuck bitch keep looking at me? <laughs> I thought you were about to say, nigga, they want to smash or something. Hey, I don't know what. Hey, it it could have went down. Dog, that's funny. I smashed the dyke bitch if she was through. Man, she dog. Got to go take a shower. Shit, man, I appreciate you coming as a motherfucker, man, dog. My pleasure, bro. Man, I'll come it was back good anytime, you, man. dog. Hey, man. Thank you, Let the people know where they can follow you on socials, where yeah. you can find the, the podcast, all that good man, shit, dog. follow me on the gram. I am Uncle Smooth. Yeah. Everything going to be there, all my shows I got coming up. For sure. Um, I got one New Year's Eve with Mike Chase, Jay Will, mm -hmm. bunch of heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. Um, my podcast, No Blood, No File, that's on Aflazon. Mm. Um, Instagram, uh, A-T-H-L-A-Z-O-N, it'll come up. Okay. But we do all the sports there. Um, but yeah, man, everything, mm. music, sports, mm. comedy, What's up, man? 20, podcast. 2023, man, what you, what you trying to get out this year, bro? Man, I'm trying to turn up, man. I'm trying to uh, 
I ain't trying to do nothing. Yeah. I am going to like sure. get my name out here more with the comedy sure. and with music. And I feel like this the year everything will kind of come together. You gonna drop a uh, project off. as far as like uh, a tape Abs- and shit this absolutely, year? Absolutely, bro. It's okay to burn the cookies. Yeah. I'm back recording. You know for what sure. I'm saying? It's like the goal was like 2023. Yeah. I'm recording all year, dog. For sure, so it's man. Like, for sure, man. I, did, I, miss, I miss music, man. I record every day, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's no shit wrong with it, dog. Every day. So I was like, I'm going to be recording something and just yeah. getting to it and dropping it and putting for it all sure. together, bro. Shit, man. Hey. Yeah. Episode 146, man. Yeah. Uncle Motherfucker Smooth in here, man. Yeah. Motherfucking comic, motherfucking rapper, motherfucking <laughs> we weeologist, yeah. nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Host podcast, all, all that. that good shit, bro. Got the best weed in the comedy game. It's a fact. Yeah, for sure, it's for sure, fact. man. Hey, man, it's episode one forty six. Happy yeah. New Year, motherfucker. You already know, man. Voice of Detroit, podcast hero. Shout out to everybody, man. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>